Hello. Welcome to the stream. Happy Monday, everybody. We're back. It's time to play some game. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Dana, good to see you. Zetsu Bear, good to see you. Sheriff Ram, good to see you. Napjack Nose, good to see you. Bilbo, good to see you. Tangle Bunny, good to see you. Summer Bee, 76, good to see you. Frostitution, powerful 9 PC mode. Well done. Headwound Yoda, <laughs> good to see you. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're going to play some Saber Wolf. The grand finale of this impromptu ultimate play the game marathon that it's not very <laughs> consecutive or whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. We're going to play Saber Wolf. There it is. A dial up sound. Welcome. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say about this game because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I'm very curious to see how this game plays. This is a reboot of the entirety of the Saberman series up till this point, I guess. And the Saberman series hasn't really been a very consistent series of games. So I'm kind of not really sure what to expect here. Uh, my understanding from the tiny, tiny little snippets of game that I've seen is this is kind of more of a kid's game. <laughs> Whereas the previous Saberman games were like cruel, sadistic, evil, 8-bit microcomputer nonsense games. So maybe this will be a bit more fun. <laughs> I, the other games were a bit of a mixed bag. I'm excited to play this though. This will be cool. It's got the original Nintendo seal of quality on it. That's a good sign. It's got a cool wolf man. Or maybe it's just a wolf. Maybe it's not even a wolf man. It's just a saber wolf. That's cool. Yeah, Tango. I was kind of looking at their games earlier. Uh, this is the second of four Game Boy Advance games that Rare put out. Uh, they did a Banjo Kazooie game, Gruntilda's Revenge. Grunty's Revenge? Grunty's Revenge, which I've never played. Then they did Saber Wolf, which I've never played. They made a game called I'm Mr. Pants, which <laughs> I don't even care what the game's about. It's awesome because of that name. And then they also did like a Banjo Kazooie racing game. Cool. But. <laughs> I'm Mr. Pants. We should just we should be playing I'm Mr. Pants instead. Hey, Helical, welcome. Why aren't we playing Mr. Pants? <laughs> we gotta play Saber Wolf. <laughs> uh, do I have the back of the box? I don't think I added the back of the box. I'm a little bit unprepared here. We'll just go like that. The Savage Saber Wolf has escaped. Okay, this game is compatible in the Game Boy Advance, not to the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy. Savage Saber Wolf has escaped. Arcade action for the thinking gamer, says Play Magazine. We can explore expansive levels filled with treasures and traps. There's the word boomer in that screenshot. I can make nothing else out other than the word boomer. <laughs> I think this was, game came out before that became a meme. <laughs> Catch and control magical creatures to help you through Saber Wolf's layers. Wait, I like the sound of that. A game unlike any other, combining 2D and 3D action adventure. Gameplay on the Game Boy Advance TM video game system. A-G-B-P-A-W-U-P. -P -P. Got it. Oh, it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> I can't really make out what's happening in any of these screenshots. Looks like they're kind of going for a Donkey Kong Country-esque vibe to it. We'll see. We'll see. Saber Wolf. I really don't have a lot to say about this game. We just gotta read the manual now. Let's go straight into it. Manual. Saber Wolf. Oh, I gotta shuffle some things around. Oh, someone's done the task of I'm Mr. Pants. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> I don't know anything about the game, but it's gotta be amazing. Look at this cover. Oh, look at the sketch. The story. 
there's good creatures and bad creatures in this game. That's a good sign. Alright, let's read the lore. A mysterious stranger has arrived in the tranquil village of Black Witch. Wait a minute. That's a reference. Tranquil village of Black Witch. And done the unthinkable. Shattered the fable Saberwolf amulet, releasing the savage wolf itself from long years of imprisonment and bringing fear and panic to the world. Any reasons the man may have for this act are shadowy. But with Saberwolf on the warpath, and terrorizing communities all across the land. What is clear is that both of these villains must be stopped. A warpath. Wow, that's escalated very quickly. <clears throat> Once more it falls to veteran explorer Saberman to jump scare me with a subscription alert. Thank you, Top Boss, for the resub. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much for the 26 month. Uh, there, there's a thumbs up. Thank you. Powerful support, thank you. Jump scared me, well played. <laughs> Once more it falls to veteran explorer Saberman to track and recapture his most fearsome nemesis. Now, in the twilight of his years, our hero's not quite the warrior he once was, and has long since laid aside his trusty saber. Meaning that, other weapons and defenses will have to be found if he's to succeed in this quest. And it may well be his toughest yet. Not only must he hunt down the stranger he must also recover the eight pieces of the amulet and return the wolf to its prison saber wolf has many layers each of which must be found and cleared out and cleared if our hero is to bring back the stolen treasure as you'd expect these layers are seething with lethal hazards culminating in the threat of the wolf itself thankfully saber man has spent many years since his last adventure studying the ways of the land's extraordinary creatures learning how to make best use of the unique talents of each. In addition to his wits and finely honed survival instincts, his interaction with these creatures will act as the ace up Saberman's sleeve and hopefully provide him with the edge he needs. I'm pretty excited. I don't know about you guys, but there's a lot of creature references in here. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I like the artwork, yeah. Evil Mad Scientist. You can tell he's evil because he has a massive mustache. Oh, but look at Saber Man over here. He's got an even massiver mustache. Oh, who's who's the real evil warlord here? There's Saber Wolf. There's the logo from the first game. No, oh, there's Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Starting the game, your first port of call within the game is Saberman's front room, complete with roaring fire and various trophies from his adventures. Above the fireplace hang pictures representing tea. Key save slots on the game pack. As you make progress through the game in one of these slots, the picture will update to illustrate Saberman's current position, to save at any time, pause the game, select save game, okay, blah blah blah. Selecting the boar's head above the fireplace will allow the player to access Saberman's challenge mode. We got challenges. <laughs> I noticed that too. Look at that. His nose is like flopping over the mustache. Is that how mustaches actually work? Does anybody in human history have such a huge nose apologize if this is an insensitive thing to ask <laughs> does anybody have such a huge nose that even when they grow out their full mustache the nose flops over it maybe it's grown from nose hair this man is quite perplexing what's his name again he doesn't have a name he's just evil the man the mysterious stranger oh I need to learn more about this man oh look at this the creature menu Tom Leaf's tea drinking game featuring egg timer plus icons at bottom left displaying amount of tea in mouth and total number of cups swallowed what 
Why are you telling me about egg timers and tea and mouth meter? What is... Okay. Uh, the 3D exploration. We have got some very blurry screenshots here. Got a Saber Wolf's gameplay split into two distinct styles. The game kicks off in 3D exploration mode, where our wandering hero tra traverses new areas and interacts with other characters in his long-distance search for Saber Wolf and its master. 3D worlds also provide access to a selection of appropriately themed 2D platform levels. These are Saber Wolf's layers, identifiable by entrances in the form of a wolf's head tunnel leading underground. Standing near a layer, pressing the A button, brings up the name and stats for that level. Oh, we got stats! While entering the tunnel shifts the game into the more action-heavy 2D platform mode. Oh, there's a lot of mustaches. Everybody's got a mustache. She doesn't have a mustache. Each 3D zone is essentially the hub of one of the eight game worlds. Black Witch Village, that's a reference. It's the first of these, and it's here that Saberman will be able to make use of handy features, such as Cookie's Shop. Uh, the library, of all of Black Witch Village's facilities, the library, maintained by Connie Ann, the librarian, is one of the most useful, holding up-to-date documentation of the various good, capital G, good, and capital B bad creatures <laughs> discovered by Saberman. <laughs> Keep coming back to check the updated records whenever you're in town. It's kind of disturbing that they just classify creatures as good and bad. And it's just like, I guess that's just an inherent nature of the creature itself. They're not giving these creatures any potential to reform their ways. They're just good or bad. Kind of messed up, if you ask me. <laughs> Yeah, does she have Marge Simpson hair? You can't tell how high it extends outside the box. The Village Hall. Situated in a prime location at the head of the village, therefore hard to miss. This is the mayor's grand seat of office. Saberman will need to make a stop here when he first arrives in Blackwich. Uh, the local shop. <clears throat> also be found in Blackwich Village is the local shop. A small but perfectly formed establishment run by Cookie. <clears throat> Here you can sell any treasure that you found, as Cookie's only too happy to convert it to the local currency, GP. I wonder what GP stands for. <clears throat> With your newfound wealth, you can then decide whether or not to buy certain helpful items and creatures from him. And don't worry about continually backtracking to Black Witch, as Cookie really gets around with his portable market stall. Approach him and press the A button to do business. He'll always have armor for sale. Also carries items such as a nifty newfangled camera, and the one item that any self-respecting explorer should not be without, the trusty compass. This allows Saberman to pinpoint the location of well-hidden wolf layers or level exits, uh, press B, you get a compass. Okay, cool. And GP stands for Saber Wolf Pounds. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? They don't explain it. Oh, look at this guy. I, c I can definitely see the resemblance, Tango. Yeah, it's very, very, very Disney-esque cartoonish style here. <laughs> The Outlaw Inn. At the inn, Saberman will find himself challenged to a drinking game by Tom Leaf. The object is to down as many cups of tea as possible within the time limit. Tom will provide full instructions before you start, but here are the basic controls. I don't care. Wait, there's a button that lets you expel your tea in a quite unseemly fashion? Okay, now I care. <laughs> uh, press B to fill Saberman's cup. Press up to bring the cup to his mouth. What is this? Watch the bottom left face icon to see how much tea is in his mouth. Then press the swallow button. Otherwise, he chokes and expels his tea. What? You have to drink your tea adversary under the table. I don't think that's how tea drinking works. I don't know. I'm not big into the tea scene. 
There could be things I'm missing, nuance to the tea drinking culture that I just don't understand. <laughs> FDI, welcome. Yes, lots of colors, very bright, wonderful colors. Uh, the photography shop, well worth a visit for the keen advent, or for the keen photo photographer. I can't speak. Well worth a visit for the keen photographer or those with a camera. Black Witch Village's photography shop is run by Wesley Snaps, local expert in this new and exciting field. Is this Wesley? Uh, feel free to ask his advice on taking snaps. He may even have a task for you to complete if you come to him with camera in hand. Uh, be sure to explore the 3D areas thoroughly and speak to everyone you see. <clears throat> so there will always be people keen to ask Saberman's help. Many of the people can also offer a helping hand in collecting the fabled Ultimate Orchids, which the young guy, Freddy, in the center of Black Witch Village is so desperate to get his hands on. The young guy? Freddy? Okay. <laughs> What is this? Is, is this Saberwolf farting at the player? Why? What? What is... Okay, look at his face! He knows what he's doing, and he doesn't care. <laughs> what? This game might be insane. This game might be insane. Okay, the 2D platform sections are where Saberman squares up to his longtime enemy. Each of these levels ends where the wolf itself lies sleeping, guarding either a piece of stolen treasure or an item essential to Saberman's progress. If Saberman escapes with a piece of treasure, he gets to keep it and trade it for cash at Cookie Shop. Note, the treasure degrades from gold to silver to bronze, depending on how long Saberman takes to reach it. Oh, we got a time attack, these freaking levels. Oh, tail spinning. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. He's spinning his tail. What's with his face, though? He looks so coy. Like, you know this this wolf is up to something. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. He's low fire welcome. Uh, is Saber Wolf my favorite rare mascot? I like Tip Tup the Turtle. Tip Tup the Turtle wins the prize for me he doesn't have very many games <laughs> but i really like tipped up the turtle he's up to something i can't get over this okay we gotta just get over it of course it's not that simple all manner of hazards block saberman's path and he'll need help whether he's planning to sneak or force his way through this is where his collection of tame creatures comes into play He's going to be found tied up in magic bags on some levels, often in areas off the beaten path, or purchased from Cookie in the outside world. To call upon one of these good, capital G, good creatures, <laughs> press the B button to bring up a scrolling menu. I don't care about the controls. Uh, by moving carefully, jumping, and using creatures wisely to overcome hazards, Saberman must make his way from the safety of his tent at one end of the level to Saberwolf's den at the other. Picking up the stolen treasure or item causes the wolf to wake, let out a dire howl, destroying any creatures on the level, and triggering chase mode. Saberman turns and runs for his life, prize held high, until he's caught, or reaches the safety of his tent. All you need to do is keep him headed in the right direction and jump over any remaining obstacles. Interest. Did this come out? I need to look it up now. Did this come out before or after Wario Land 4? Because it seems like a very Wario Land 4 gameplay mechanic. Wario Land 4 was 2001. This is 2004. So this is after Wario Land 4. Okay. Okay. This is a very Wario Land 4 thing. I just want to say Wario Land 4 one more time. Uh, the level is successfully completed by diving for the cover of Saberman's tent ahead of the rampaging wolf, where his enemy is kept at bay by the campfire is burning bright. 
Saberman returns to the 3D overworld, raises his standard, and gives a smart salute. With one more layer cleared, he can now begin the hunt for the next one, always on the lookout for precious pieces of the Saberwolf amulet. However, with various secrets hidden away in remote corners of these 2D levels, it's always worth coming back later with a bigger arsenal of creatures to see what new areas can be reached. There is that a dragon? That's a dragon. Dragon? So my understanding so far, and we're not done with the manual. <laughs> guy we're not done with the manual yet but my understanding from reading this is the levels are designed to be replayed multiple times once on a time attack fashion just racing to the finish to get the gold treasure and then again come back revisit when you have an, a large healthy stock of good creatures in your inventory so you can thoroughly explore the levels as well to find hidden secrets so we might have to play all these levels multiple times. Which could be good. Could be bad. <laughs> it's yet to be determined. Uh, challenge mode. What's this? Accessible from the opening menu by selecting the Boar's Head Trophy. This mode allows skillful players another chance to pit their wits against all 2D platform levels that have been conquered in the save slot selected. For each level... For each level open, there will be a specific number and selection of creatures available to use. No more, no less. You must use all your skill and cunning to ration out these few resources and ultimately reach the treasure. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> it's weird that this challenge mode is like a separate gameplay mode that you have to back out to the title screen of the game to access. But it uses the save data from one of the save slots, so why didn't they just put it as like a menu option inside the game itself rather than like abstract it out to a separate mode? I don't understand, but hey, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> a combo system. A hit combo is awarded if the player uses a single good creature to remove more than one enemy creature. In the screenshot to the right, the player uses a single boomer to defeat two enemy bombs. Bombs are considered creatures? What? I thought, what? Are these, what? How would you call a bomb a creature? The bomb's got to be alive. Like, creature must be a living, sentient being. Is a bomb a living, sentient being? Oh, wow. The mysteries. <laughs> now, the more enemy creatures killed... The greater in number the greater the number of hits in the combo this combo is the most frequent combo to occur in normal gameplay <laughs> i like the dragon like holding his sparkly tail he's got like beads of sweat dripping off him he's nervous that his tail is sparkling little bunny ears on the dragon Oh. <laughs> in the screenshot above the player uses a blubba to bounce a boomer up to a roof spike the more good creatures used in the process of removing the enemy creature the higher the chain becomes this type of combo occurs very infrequently chain combos awarded if the player uses two or more good creatures to remove one enemy creature dude look at the the the, the suckers on his tongue Oh, gross. Would those like suction cup and like attach to surfaces to like fully absorb all the nutrients? Oh, gross. Whoa. Hey, Trax, you're all welcome. <laughs> Those are important questions that must be asked. This fish looks cool. I, I don't why, why do I care about this combo in the screenshot the player places a misty next to four hover conquers these are fake words then places a boomer on the misty to ultimately remove all four at once okay whatever <laughs> oh look at the wolf the characters 
our intrepid adventurer is back, but he's no spring chicken these days. Heroic, yes, and surprisingly quick on his feet. But he's still going to need all the help he can get. Wait. I see more references. Saberwolf, trapped within a statue and sealed by the Saberwolf amulet for many years. The wolf is unleashed upon the world following the destruction of the amulet. Needless to say, he's pretty mad. Doesn't look very mad there. <clears throat> uh, cookie. I guess this is Cookie. No, this is Cookie. Cookie's under the Cookie sign. He's got. He's got a sign with his name on it, and he just hangs out under the sign with his name on it. <laughs> he's a useful fellow, though. His base is in Blackwich. He travels the land with his mobile shop, the Curiosity Creature Emporium. So theoretically, you can bump into him anywhere. Cookies Curiosity Creature Emporium. Black Witch Karnath. That's a reference. Underworld. That's a reference. Wesley Snaps. Wait a minute. Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snaps. I see what they did there. Oh, rare. Took me a minute, but I see what you did there. There's nothing Wesley doesn't know about taking a picture. If you've purchased a camera and want some tips... You'll find the esteemed Mr. Snaps to be a man well worth talking to. Okay. Oh, look at this mayor. Why does he have a necklace with five giant gold plates on it? What is he trying to show off? Look at this blue. A furry coat. This man. This man. I don't trust him. The mayor of Blackwitch is the fellow who introduces Saberman to this new quest. With not just his village, but the whole surrounding land in turmoil, the mayor is a man in dire need of some heroic assistance. Connie Ann. Connie is the unenviable task of looking after Blackwitch Library, a place crammed with from floor to ceiling with all manner of information. If there's something you need to look up, make no mistake. Connie's your girl. Freddy. Freddy's buff. This man has a problem. Needs somebody to help him out. He really likes one of the girls in the village, Jane. <laughs> but he's so shy that he just doesn't have the faintest idea what to do about it. Maybe flowers would help. <clears throat> Charlie Atlas. An old Charlie, the cartographer, is one of the more eccentric natives of Blackwich. He set off years ago to chart the areas around the village. Mumbling something about a new invention for moving people from location to location at great speed. This is a very good design. I agree. I agree. He actually has a beard with his mustache. The little fingerless gloves. Toes. It's very important that we see Charlie Atlas's toes. Thank you, Rare, for giving us his toes. He has a satchel full of, full of parchment. Yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, good creatures. Hey, they reuse this art. Uh, these are just some of the creatures that Saberman contained during the early stages of his quest. There are many more to find, but that's up to you. Have Misty, an unstable creature, one which dissolves on contact. Use it as a temporary platform by all means. Just don't hang around too long. Serpent. Solid enough to provide a safe extra platform in any situation. Ideal for making short work of those troublesome long gaps. Go them. Made from solid stone, this huge stubborn creature has both the will and the way to prevent enemies from getting through. I like Golem. <laughs> Golem's just popping a squat. He's just hanging out. Sticky. Roaming enemies getting you down. Buy yourself some breathing room by gluing them to the spot with this sticky customer. Poor sticky. Boomer. If all else fails, blow things to pieces. <laughs> Fortunately, here's a volatile creature which gives you the opportunity to do just that. Oh wait. Is Boomer's tail a fuse? And so... This is a living, sentient, good creature, and we are just blowing them up. 
it's like he sees that his tail's been lit and so he's panicking because he knows once that fuse burns down and the the fire reaches his ass he just explodes and he's dead forever oh, what a what a life oh blubber use its incredible bounciness to catapult you high into the air you'll be hard pressed to find a wall too tall to be cleared <laughs> I really like these character designs. It's not just hostile terrain that can pose a problem. Of the many and varied beasts standing in Saberman's way, these are just a few. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Needle nose. A patient creature which hangs around in the same spot all day, waiting for unsuspecting travelers to come wandering along the path below. Spike. A reclusive beast which picks the most inconvenient places to curl up into its spiny shell. And be warned, those spines are really sharp. Bad Crumble. <laughs> Another unstable creature which waits until you set foot on its surface before triggering a rapid collapse. Tread with caution. <laughs> what? Why does he have eyes? I have so many questions about Bad Crumble. Does Bad Crumble collapsing cause it to perish? How would they ever survive in such a cruel, harsh world when they're just constantly collapsing? Maybe they can reassemble and they're not actually dead. Why do I care? These are bad creatures. I shouldn't have any empathy for them. Hopper. The most common mobile enemy, a beast, which bounds, bounces endlessly back and forth. Usually just out of spite, right in the middle of the path. They didn't even mention his cool pogo stick. A seated pogo stick? I, f I feel like that'd be really hard to balance on. I like his little hat, though. <laughs> the worlds okay there's the world map we start here in black witch village that's our reference world one the beginning and the focal point of saberman's request life in the previously peaceful village is in turmoil following the release of saber wolf but our hero can still make use of all the local facilities on his many return visits throughout the adventure Karnath Jungle, that's another reference. World 2 of Saberman's Quest. This dense, inhospitable jungle provides plenty of hiding holes for his lupine adversary. There's the occasional settler to befriend, and Black Witch is only a hop, skip, and a jump away. It's still pretty hostile territory. The Underworld Mines, there's a reference. Deep in the bowels of the earth, these forbidding old mines form World 3 of the adventure. Extensive use over the years have seen the mines expand to four whole levels, though the lower areas are devilishly hard to reach without assistance. Entombed Swamp, there's a reference. <laughs> Progress is certainly being made now, as this spooky swamp can only be reached by an underground lake deep in the underworld cave system. World 4 of Saberman's expedition, it lies in the shadow of Great Mount Nightlore. There's a reference. Oh, Mountain Night Lord, there's a reference. World 5 is a cold and desolate place. The harsh climate and wealth of hazards keep most right-thinking people away from the snowy peak. But it's not entirely uncivilized. Saber Man will be able to find shelter in the Night Lord Ski Shack. <laughs> Nightshade Mining Company, there's another reference. Everything's a reference. Everything's a reference. Literally everything. Uh, this is where the yield of the underworld miners come to be processed. World 6 can only be reached by crossing Nightshade Lake. Brash explorers throughout history have discovered the hard way. It's definitely too far to swim. The Temple of Imhotep, another reference. World 7 is a weird and wonderful place. History is vague on the subject of this architectural anomaly. All that's known for sure is that the strange but allegedly peaceful Imhotep monks remain there and guard it to this day. 
Oh, look at the look at all these creatures. What a lovely drawing here. A lot of reused artwork, which I, I'm, that's fine. Look at this guy. It, this this creature doesn't even have a body. It's just a face with a tongue. There's Saber Wolf spinning his tail, but then there's also Saber Wolf there. Maybe that's not Saber Wolf. Oh, I got distracted. Skull, Dragon Skull Town. Bright lights, big city. That's the final world in Saber Man's adventure. Will he have will he have gathered all eight pieces of the amulet and be ready to confront the wolf? Nothing is certain. Until he reaches Dragon Skull. The only way to get there is by rail. Alright, that's the manual. Oh, look at that. Gruntilda's back. Only Banjo and Kazooie can stop her master plan. I've never played this Game Boy Advance Banjo Kazooie game. I kind of want to play it. Kind of want to play Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge on the Game Boy Advance. I think it'd be fun. So, good manual. I like this. Very fun, very lighthearted, packed full of references. Which okay, sure. I like I like Bad Crumble, I like Spike. A lot of good creatures in this manual. Golem. Charlie Atlas. Wolf. Cookie. Tongue fish. Monstrosity. Butt. And loading, 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 loading. Okay. <laughs> Let's play Saber Wolf, shall we? I'm excited for this game. Let's play the game. Let's ultimate play the game, even. Let's ultimate play some Saber Wolf. Just shuffle some windows around real quick. There's the list. Game number six. This incredibly scuffed scene here with big red X's and random old dude's face. <laughs> Game number six of the Saber Wolf series. So it's not very clear, reading that manual, if this is a sequel or a reboot. Which games of the series are canonized? It's very hard to say. It seems to me like Saber Wolf, the original, is has happened. It's officially happened in this timeline. Underworld... I assume happened. Maybe Night Lore happened as well. I don't know Pentagram. I don't know what, if Pentagram is canon in this timeline or not because I never finished Pentagram. So I don't know what happens at the end of Pentagram. <laughs> but Pentagram took place when Saberman was already an old wizard. So I don't know if this adventure with current. 2004 Saber Man is compatible with old wizard Saber Man in the Pentagram game. Night Lore for Famicom Disk System, that's 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 apocrypha. It's not canon. <laughs> or maybe it's just a retelling of Night Lore. But yeah, who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? Let's play the game. Let's ultimate play it. We got our Game Boy Advance here. Perfectly fine MGBA. Get up the game. Oh, God, voices. I gotta shuffle some windows around. Oh, this is pretty cool. Theme song of Saber Wolf. The music is too quiet, too loud. Let me know. I can adjust it easily. Looks like it might be a little quiet right now. Beautiful. 
repair it. It's a different voice clip. Leg it. Alright. Well, I guess we play. No attract mode. We have no idea what we're getting into here. Start the timer. Oh, this is the... <laughs> I was confused for a second. I was just taking in what I was looking at. This is the file select screen? So the boar lets us go into challenge mode. But it just farts because we haven't played any of the main game yet. Start, delete, copy. Look at the little elephant hoof. Umbrella holder. Did he... Did Saberman hunt an elephant, kill it, chop off its leg, hollow out the bone and the muscle and the sinew and the innards of the leg, embalm it in some way, preserve it, and then he's now using an elephant's leg as an umbrella stand. To keep his fancy multiple umbrellas and this is like a, a flag banner he's got a golden dish a goblet i don't know if i like saber man <laughs> those were a thing that's that's actually a thing oh wow i didn't realize let's play Oh, we got, we got the Sims voice. Yeah, what's going on? What do you want? Uh, these are very pixelated, these sprites here, but it's a Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. I'm the mayor of the nearby village, Black Witch. I kind of don't even want to read this text out loud and just mumble along with it. <laughs> Years ago, our village was ravaged by Saber Wolf. Saber Wolf? Yes, I remember. He was ruining everything. We thought him unstoppable. Only the power of the amulet that you brought back to us allowed us to banish him. We erected a large statue in the center of the village, imprisoning the wolf. The power of the amulet was used to keep him permanently frozen within the sculpture. One day, not so long ago, a very bad man <laughs> paid us a visit. <laughs> a very bad man. Oh dear. He goes by the name of Dr. Doolittle Good. Get it? Because he's bad, so he does a little good because he's so bad. All right. For years, he wanted to seize control of our land, but lacked the power to do so. Somehow, we found out about the wolf trapped inside the statue, and the reckless fiend destroyed the amulet. Just threw a cartoon bomb on it. The wolf awoke, escaped his prison, and ran off to join Do Little Good. Now we're powerless once more. Roam the land, taking whatever they want, whenever they want. I don't see how I can help. Saberman, the wolf runs free. He terrorizes us, steals from us. Treasure, precious items, even people. We can no longer go about our normal business. But you have had dealings with this beast before. With your help, we can overcome our mutual enemy, recover the eight parts of the sacred amulet. 
Only you can help us, Saber Man. We're desperate. Just follow us across the bridge to the village hall. All right, here we are, playing a video game. I don't know. It's hard to say, Zetsu. I, I think it's only confirmed so far that the original Saber Wolf is canon. I don't know about any of the other adventures. What is this? Oh, treasure! I got ten, ten doubloons. Look <laughs> at a little parrot. Can I grab the socks? I get the... What is this? Is this supposed to be underwear? Is this supposed to be underwear? I think it's underwear. Okay, R button opens up the menu. Inventory, creatures, treasure. Uh, we got 10... We got 10 spinning coins. We have 0 gold, 0 silver, 0 bronze, 0 key. The items menu is just a piece of paper. Okay. Amulet menu. There it is. Game stats. Campsite clearing. Three strangely positioned question marks. Game help. Oh, there's all the buttons. Okay. Save. All right. Uh, well, let's... We've got a jump button. <gasps> Treasure! <sighs> oh no, oh, the dirty me. Oh, he lost his hat. I suppose I could. What? The treasure! Okay, we're going in the hole. No, if you... Oh! Okay. Playing the game. Hey, PS1 addict, welcome. So apparently a hole in the ground... A hole in the earth with staircase leading down, descending underneath subterranean layer. Apparently that leads to a lush foresty jungle. I don't understand. <laughs> Just gotta roll with it. This is a magical bag. The creature inside will be very helpful in your quest. Open to see what you found. Did you know that pressing A will make you jump? There's Blubba. Place on your foot to reach high areas. Press B to open your backpack. You can scroll the backpack menu using left and right on the control pad. Control pad. Press A to select your creature. Place a creature and move it around using the control pad. Press A to position. Try placing the Blubba here. Jump over this house. You press L. And just the position of the last creature placed. Open bag. Blubba. Oh, wrong button. Can I just put him like here? Oh, gravity. Oh, good noise. Somehow it doesn't even wake Blubba. Or he might wake up briefly. I can't tell. It looks like he wakes up very briefly when we bounce off him. Boomer. Blows away most obstructions. Yeah, Kapow. This seems like it's a puzzle platformer. Which I am all for. <gasps> Look. There's the missing hat. Snatch it back quickly before Saber Wolf wakes up. But what about my boomer? Can I use my boomer? 
Let's blow up Saber Wolf. Let's boomer him. I just, okay, that's, this is as close as we can get. <laughs> okay, he's dead. That's done it! Quickly, run for the safety of your tent. It's basically Wario Land 4. No, we thought you'd run off or something. What's that? Cyber Wolf! He just he just stole someone. What? Where? Oh no! The mayor! The, he, the mayor was literally just standing right next to us, and a wolf just erupted from the earth and snatched him. Nasty wolf must have snatched him. Yeah, that's what I just said. Saberman, you must go and rescue him. Not again. Can't you do it? You're the soldiers, after all. Us? Not likely. We only joined up for the uniform. <laughs> Girls are very partial to a man in uniform, you know. There better be some treasure involved soon. Alright, uh, speaking of... Alright, we got some more treasure. Does this man say anything new? Save my job! He saved his hat. Hat is not a job. Hey, Van Buren, Phil Van Buren Phillips, welcome. Welcome. What? Did, what? I didn't even see those coins before I picked them up. Alright, let's go in the cave. Hmm. Surely this bomb will not harm me, right? Oh, I died instantly. Okay. It looks like I lost some coins when I died. I right, get the body armor. Why is there body armor? Some wolf caves are purchased from the shop. Once collected or bought, it appears at the bottom of the game screen next to the coin counter. Armor helps protect you from harm. Use it wisely. Take one strong hit, it becomes ineffective. <laughs> cool! <laughs> there he is! There's his armor. Okay, so... We got all of our dudes back. All of our friendly creatures. We can... Boing. More dude. Use it to access the inaccessible. So I assume Serpent's not affected by gravity? Oh, nice. Whee! Are there secrets that I've missed? Probably. The mayor. <gasps> what? You can't just lift an entire man over your head. Coin. I, I missed. Great Scott. Duke Donuts, welcome. Regan Sloha, welcome. Yes, it definitely looks very GBA. Very Game Boy Advance. Thank you, I thought I was a goner back there. Look, I've got some business to sort out in Blackwatch. Meet me at the village hall as soon as you can. Alright, let's go. So can we replay these? We can. Is there any reason to probably not yet oh 
Look at the dithering. Look at the shadow of the bridge. Whoa! Okay, we're in Black Witch Village. This is a cool little title card. Chicken! I'm trying to pick up the chicken. I don't think I can lift chicken. I see treasure. I walk up these stairs. Go in the store. What's that say? It's the text is far too pixelated to read. Outlaw in. Oh my goodness, you guys have much better eyes than I do. <laughs> I, I, I see it now. The outlaw in. Let's go in. Kites in all the world here. Uh -huh. Really, I'd love to challenge you, but we're awaiting the delivery of a consignment of tea at the Black Witch Docks. Tom Leaf always hangs around at the bar. It's another reference. Okay, we can't play tea drinking game yet. Here at Outlaw Inn. Until we get the tea in the dock. Oh, hello. I think the mayor went back to the village hall. We'll find it in the north side of Blackwich. Dude, there's just chickens everywhere! Only I had a nice bunch of flowers to give to that girl. I know it would make a difference. Hey, you can help me! You're off traveling over the, all over the world. Bring back the rarest orchids you can find. Blue, red, white. Yellow, purple. That would surely impress her. What I mean, what I say. Inventory updated? Orchids. Okay. Hee haw. There's a donkey in my way. Uh, I see treasure. Gotta go grab this treasure. I guess that's the buff dude from the manual. Yeah, it doesn't look anything like his concept art. Going here. Oh, the little mouse! stuff just everywhere. I didn't even see that there were coins back there. <laughs> Greetings, traveler. I hear that you plan to help us. You can purchase a variety of useful items from me. Uh, buy items. Club? Camera. Oh, we need the compass. We need the compass. The manual said we need the compass. Yoink. Sorry, I haven't got anything to trade at the moment. Okay. Heard there's a big wolf causing a fuss in the area. Oh, thank you. Library. Good afternoon, I'm Connie and the librarian. I look after the village's books. You need to know anything about the creatures that you encounter. Pay me a visit. I'll look them up to see what information we have on record. Would you like to view any of our books? Yes. Whoa! <laughs> what okay, these are the bad creatures. These are the good creatures. Let's look at some good creatures. There's Blubba. Any kind of contact with a sleepy bear will launch you high into the air. Oh no, they're rhyming. A strange creature that circles the skies, allowing its keeper to access the inaccessible. Okay. 
very highly strung. Any contact will cause a large explosion. Let's see what the bad creatures book has. <laughs> Made from solid stone, it will prevent almost anyone or anything from passing. This isn't a creature, it's a literal bomb. I... how... call a bomb a creature? Well, Boomer, at least, it... Boomer has, like, eyes and a personality and it's a living thing. I guess this bomb is alive, too? It's got a skull face? Okay, that's kind of cool. Never mind. <laughs> Look at Crumble. Very unstable creature. Likely to fall to pieces. The slightest movement. I'm kind of a messy sprite here, but Game Boy Advance hops back and forth like clockwork, never stops. Hangs around all day long, waiting for the foolish to brush its deadly spines. Ooh. They have a lot of bad creatures in this book that I've never even seen yet in the game. <laughs> I like Crumble. Oh, hey there. Brother Pablo Jones. I've been reading about the creatures that live in the sea. Fish, they call them, apparently. I'd love to see one for real. I don't suppose you could find me a fish to look at. Oh, I'm serious. I drive my chopper shipper. Got a fine fish for the man. I don't. I, no, 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 go away. What the heck is a fish? Chicken! The heck's a fish? What? I'm just finding treasure everywhere. We get a triumphant fanfare just for walking around. Alright, I'm getting addicted. Where's more treasure? I go this way? There's not a guy. Speak to the man. Hey, Hosanna X, welcome. Emily, good to see you. Welcome. Technically, I don't know if you can call this an ultimate play of the game. Seeing as how it's many years removed from the ultimate play the game brand but it's, it's it's we'll call it ultimate what is this floor mat what am i looking at i guess i rather than get up close to try and read it i gotta like zoom out what is this is this attic attack oh another reference Thank you for saving me back there. You're a handy chap to have around. You've met the wolf and found some creatures to help you. That's good. Need any reminders on how things work? Remind? No! I'm glad to hear it. You've seen the statue outside. You must retrieve the pieces of the amulet. That wolf could appear anywhere. What's that? Better get to work. It, oh. oh, it's the pentagram. This is the pentagram box art. This is the devil on the pentagram box art. That's the at. I guess I don't know what the attic attack box art looks like. I wonder if it looks like this. It's just references everywhere. Everything's a reference. Everything is a reference to everything. Go on the door. Very suspicious door. <laughs> it is the box art? Oh, cool. Do you have anything new to say? 
Library is near the bridge. Have you used the library yet? Yes. Right, let's just go in the cave. Oh, it's a blocker. Dude, you're not doing a very good job of blocking anything. Oh, body armor. I need to get the bag. Uh, let's put a monster here. My dear friend, the serpent. Put her right there. Boing, boing. <gasps> a second boomer. Jump over the bombs. Oh dear. What are we gonna do here? Uh, we need to do a bounce boy. I just walked right into the boomer. We need to do a bouncy boy. Put him right about there. In wolf caves with treasures at the end, the value of the treasure will fall as time passes. Move quickly and efficiently through the level, and the treasure will be gold. Take your time just a little, and the reward will be silver. Too slow, the treasure will degrade to bronze. When you complete a level with treasure, flag will signal the value of the treasure recovered. You can always re-enter a level to improve your booty. <laughs> Thank you. I, I gotta improve my booty. I thought you did that by exercise, weightlifting, and proper diet, but apparently you just have to re-enter the level. <laughs> when creatures on the level are destroyed, they spill out golden coins. You can collect these by simply running over them. The coin counter at the bottom of the game screen displays the number of coins currently held. So is this gold? Is this bronze? Let's pick it up. Oh, woo! Run! Oh, I died. I guess Saber Man has very brittle bones and he takes fall damage. What? Oh, okay, we're back here. So just walk off the ledge, don't... Oh. For the Empire, what? For the Empire? What? What? What Empire are we stealing this treasure for. I'm very confused. That must be another one. Is Saberman British? Does Britain exist in the context of this game world? I, I guess it does. Oh. Save. Okay. Follow the compass. Tells you exactly. Oh, let's go. Compass tells us exactly where to go. Oh, look at this. You can use up and down on the control pad to scroll the screen vertically. This allows you to search ahead and make sure that you're not caught short by fallen nasties. Okay, so to get this guy, let's use our our dear friend Wubba. Uh, to get past this, let's use our dear friend, Serpent. Uh, to get past this, I wish I had a Blubba. I think we have to use Boomer here. I'll try and put it like right there. Does he? Does Boomer? Boomer is affected by gravity. Whoa! Oh, body armor. Uh, can I do, like, a little lip jump here? <laughs> okay. Whoa! What is this? Leg it. Leg it. Oh, this is kind of cool. 
You gotta jump over the marsh. Okay. Gently, Bentley. Gently, Bentley. Look how dejected the saber wolf looks when he's walking away. Alright, this game's pretty fun. What's with this score screen? Oh, I don't have any best combo. Treasure discoveries? Continue. Can I sell my treasures? Uh, trade. I have bronzes? I thought those were gold. Here we go, sell. Okay, let's go try and let's replay the level and get get golds. Go. So it's easy. Uh, I you just have to speed run to get gold. Just jump. I died. Let's try again. Okay, so we need to put Lubba. Uh, we need to put Boomer here. I died. Try again. <laughs> I'm not very good at speed running this. Okay. Uh, Boomer, blow it up. Go. I keep pressing the wrong button. I gotta get used to the controls. Boomer. Oh, Boomer killed me! Try again. It's an improvement. Not by much. I wonder how strict the timer is to try and get gold. Keep trying. I haven't made any discoveries yet. Boing. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. I don't. I need to like intuitively understand the controls on a perfect level. Oh. <laughs> Just damage boost through that. Oh, you don't gold. Is this gold? Is this bronze? I can't tell. Spitting what? Spitting what? Did I get gold? I think I got gold. Let's go sell this. Oh, we can just farm treasures from the exact... Okay. okay I see. We can just farm treasure. Let's purchase a camera. So we need to replay all levels. Let's go this one again. Get the gold. It's imperative that we get every gold. Oh dear. I don't think it's that imperative. Oh dear. Uh. Serpent. Go fast, fast. Yes. The gold. Does every level have a different treasure? That's kind of cool. No. Great Scott. Hey, Princess Plan, welcome. <laughs> this is very different from the original, for sure. Okay, save. Uh, follow the compass. Whoa! Look at this! Boing. 
Look at that guy. Okay, uh, let's put a serpent right there. Let's put a boomer right there. Oh, there's stuff! Okay, let's put a blubber right here. Boom. I missed the jump. My brittle bones, my knees have exploded upon landing. Bigfoot. Uses its giant feet to kick the path clear. That's a big foot. 8 bit tomato welcome. How's it going? <laughs> this game is kind of demented. I don't know, I'm kind of into this, though. This is pretty fun. It's supremely silly. Oh. Uh, let's kill this guy. Let's Bigfoot him. <clears throat> Dude! He knocked him into me! Okay, Bigfoot is very aggressive. Good to know. Pressing R to try and pull up the little menu here. It's not the R button. What happens if I Bigfoot these bombs? <laughs> okay. Superlative. Just go under. the Empire. So I guess we're stealing this treasure from the wolf for the Empire? Still not sure how I feel about this. You're doing well, but you must find those amulet pieces. The treasure is yours to keep as a reward. So wait, we're stealing it for the Empire, but I'm just keeping it and selling it. So am I the Empire? You can always sell it to Cookie at the shop. Grabbing scolden treasure in a wolf layer will open up challenge mode for that layer. Challenge mode allows you to replay your favorite layers, but with limited creatures. It aims to reach the treasure in the quickest possible time without the threat of the wolf to chase you back. Play challenge mode, go to the boar's head on the save game page. And simply select the save game data that you wish to use by choosing a save slot. Okay. I need to get gold here. I think we might actually get gold on every single stage. <laughs> Strongly considering it. I already delayed for a little bit. Okay, let's quickly put down a serpent. Can I just jump over this? I can, okay. Gold. Gently, Bentley. I wonder if every stage has a discovery in it, too. Alright, uh, next level. Whoa! This must be a bad creature. Let's blow it up. <laughs> what? Okay. Blow these up too. Bravo! So Saberman's got kind of a weird 
delay in his movements, which will take some getting used to, especially when you're turning around. He like takes a second to turn and then starts moving. It's, eh, it's kind of awkward, but we'll get used to it. Secret. 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 Oh, I'm not a boomer! Can I Bigfoot this? <laughs> cool! Oh, Bigfoot. Don't, don't you foot me, Bigfoot. Is our boy sticky? Oh, that's the worst spot you could have knocked him into, Bigfoot. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bigfoot? Bigfoot, you really messed things up. Just, just go. Whatever. Airplane with the foot. That's exactly what's happening. I keep thinking Bigfoot has like a giant club, and it takes me a second to realize no, that's literally just his big foot. <laughs> Hurrah! Hurrah! Alright, this game's kind of fun. In. Wait, was this? Each level has its own unique name? This is Eastern Karnath. Okay, I need to make sure to be checking all the level names. Very important. We have a nice number that just always goes up as we play. Also very important. Now, what's the inventory look like now? This is the exact same as the book. Okay. No keys. We s That's the mayor. We still have the mayor in our inventory. No amulet. No orchids. Jump. Under. Oh, I got to use a blubber here. Where's my serpent? I can't get up there! Alright, we're soft locked. Quit the game. <laughs> yes! 7.6% out of who knows what the max is, because this is a rare game. So the maximum score could be something nonsensical. It's very possible. Blubba. Boing. My serpent. No, not sticky. Ah, ah, ah. Dead. The tricky thing is trying to like speedrun these levels. The arrangement of creatures in the little inventory keeps changing as I pick them up. It's like if you're trying to speedrun the levels to get the, the gold treasure, you gotta know exactly where the creatures are so you can navigate to them quickly. They keep shifting about in the menu. Oh dude! I was like whatever, whatever, too slow. So the only reason I didn't get a goal is because I was fumbling around in the menus looking for creatures. Try again. Speed run. It's open. Boomer. Kabloomer. Treasure. So where is Serpent? No! 
Serpents to the left of Boomer. Okay. It's coming to me. <laughs> Speed run mode. I see what I need to do, I just need to do it. I didn't expect this to be a speed run game. Eastern Karna. Save. Dude, these caves just keep sprouting up all over the place. This seems incredibly unsafe to build a town above all these caves. Ooh, crumbly. <laughs> crumbly just crumbled. Treasure? Okay, I need to use Crumbly to get that. Is that Nightlore Mountain in the background there? That may be the, the famous Nightlore Mountain up there. Uh, let's use a Boomer and Boomer that. A little combo action. What's good? What, what do we do down here? Be careful. Slowly assess the stage. <gasps> key! That's a key! We found a bonus room key. Look for the hidden trap doors outside these wolf layers. What? Get out! Oh, come on. Run for it. For the Empire, what? For the Empire, what? Hello, Lumberjack. Well done. Looks like the wolf was banished from Black Witch Village and now he's on the run. The name's Woody. I work in Karnath Jungle. I think you should come with me, as I found something rather odd hidden amongst the undergrowth. Before you do, though, you might want to visit the shop and stock up. Head back this way when you're ready. Do you want to come with me now? No. Okay, then you visit Cookie. I'll meet you across the bridge in your Blackwish library. Where do I use this key? Oh, what's this? So you have a camera. Oh, it's it's what's his name? It's it's Wesley Snipes. This is indeed a growing interest in photography. I am compiling a book of local pictures. It would be of considerable help if you could take some for me. A merger by fair. I've always wanted to use one of these newfangled picture takers. Superlative. Examine your inventory and you will see space for ten pictures. Find these. On your return, I will reward you handsomely. Wait, what? Wait, what? Night Lore Lookout, Night Shade Shaft. The pictures are literally, literally just more collectibles? I thought we'd like use a camera to take, take pictures, but no, these are just more collectibles. Alright. So I guess these are the 
names of the stages that have hidden pictures on them. So I haven't found any orchids. Or amulets. <laughs> we still have the mayor and a hat in our inventory. Don't know where to use this key. I like this town theme song. It's very nice. Yeah, there do have to be a million collectibles. You're not wrong about that. <laughs> It's a very rare thing to do. Um, I'm looking for a locked door to use this key, but I don't think there are any. Maybe this is. Key? Oh, oh a locked trap door. Can we play dr tea drinking game yet? that guy from digital duck it's that guy i don't remember that guy's name but that guy is from a game i want to play it's the guy beautiful emote speed run now uh 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 blubber save me blubber take the hit burk thank you burk from the trap door that's from the same developers who did that grotesque Popeye game, isn't it? And by grotesque, I mean, like, wonderful. I mean that in the most delightful possible way. I, I gotta play that. Save. Alright, so I guess we're done with World 1. Let's go trade our treasure. <laughs> 200. Oh my goodness, dude. We just got so much money. Let's buy a golem. Let's buy a club. Let's buy a serpent. <laughs> we almost have everything. Almost purchased everything already. Oh, don't go in there. The campsite. Now, this flag is purple. I didn't want to go in there. Get out of there. It's a purple flag. I thought the guy said to meet him to... What? I didn't press anything. I did not press a button to take a photo. I just simply walked onto this pixel and he took a photo. What? Oh, there it is. All right, we got a photo of something in a cage. Okay. There's nothing in this cage. A baffling game. Mysterious. Turn in the photo. Oh, he doesn't care until we have all ten. What a loser. Where's this bridge uh, it must be down here west blackwich what's that what <laughs> why is the wolf riding in a hot air balloon Come on now. This ends here, you meddling old fool. You can't stop me. I'll be victorious. I'll be master of all I survey. 
You shall all bow down before me. I mean it. The slab will finish you. This lab will finish you. What? <laughs> it's my greatest invention. Powered by pieces of the magical amulet. Seals off the far lands and leaves me free to capture the rest of... Oh, there's the lab. What just happened? Da bong da bong da bong. Do little good has done it this time. You'll have to find a way into that lab and deactivate it. It's powered by a piece of the amulet. But if you can retrieve the amulet piece, the whole lab will go into meltdown. I'll just watch from here. Find a way into the lab. What if we just walk into the lab? Okay, I found a way into the lab. You simply walk into it. What's this? Oh, we are the meter is going down. Press the big red button. You must press the red button to reset the timer. If the timer reaches zero, the lab will flush out all organic matter. Press all three buttons to gain access to the amulet piece. Don't forget that you can still use your creatures in here as you may need their help. Button. Oh, treasure. Did the timer! <laughs> Jump! Bum, bum, bum. Treasure. Button. Man, man, man. This is a horrible noise. Oh, he did it. One piece only you have found. Seven left. Splendid for us. It's honor bound. Cool. Save. I guess that's world one complete. Wow, well done. You retrieved the first piece of my sacred amulet. It was nothing really, this little adventure is proving easier than I thought. Your work in Black Witch Village is done, but remember, you can always return at any time for my advice. People of Black Witch will be more than pleased to help you in your quest, and I'm sure they will reward you greatly for any tasks that you perform. In the regions ahead, be sure to look out for handy shortcuts back to Black Witch. Got to keep going, do little good is causing untold damage to beautiful Karnath jungle. Should head there immediately. Here we go again. I like this map screen a lot. I wish it would like pan around and check out the map, but nope. Maybe we'll find the staff of Karnath here. Welcome to Karnath Jungle. Good to see you're still in one piece. Oh yes, the wolf and doctor do little good. Both came here a while ago. One of those sinister laboratories has appeared up at the entrance to the underworld caves. Is that like a, a king? Oh, there's the lab. Wow, 
He destroyed the only way up to the cliff face. Saberwolf stole my ladder, too. <laughs> could somehow get it back, he could use that. Hi-ho! It's off to work again. See ya. This game is very silly. Oh, look at that. There's the tunnel. <laughs> so are there, like, alternate routes through this world? What is this? I assume this is going to be a very linear affair. Charlie Atlas spent many long years trying to map out this confusing world. Finally, my life's work's complete. I can get you from area to area with ease. Simply pay me, select your destination from the map, you'll be whisked off to the area of your choice. Look out for me everywhere you go. It's my method of transportation is the safest and quickest around. Want to travel right now? No! Business is concluded for now. Be sure to seek me out later in your adventure. So if we remember from the manual, this guy had big prominent toes in his character design. Those toes have been reduced to just blurry pixels. We don't get feet. <gasps> Treasure? <gasps> Let me in! Click 20 stars and avoid the wolf. The wolf's speed will increase with every four stars collected. Whoa! A star. Oh. Ah. oh! This is pretty cool. Oh, dead. Failed. Try again. Oh! Dead. <laughs> Okay, okay, wait, wait. Do we just run in circles? I think I know the play. I think we literally just have to run. Oh, get, get the start! Okay. I think we literally just have to run in circles like this. Never mind. Try again. Can I jump over him? I wait. Oh, look at that. Ah! Ah, the screen's too small. I can't react to. <laughs> I can't react in time. Oh, that was a good spawn point. The silver. This wolf is bullying me. Jump. Oh, there's armor up there. Okay. I think I'd like that armor. I'm kind of at the mercy of the randomness, whether or not I get any stars. I think I found the play. No circles, just back and forth. <laughs> Two more. room complete. Your reward's 100 GP. And it's gone. Okay. Okay. You're gonna need a ladder to get to Upper Karnath. Let me up here. Yeah, we just... Have destroyed that man's cellar, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, G, welcome. Stream avatar star catching game? Oh. Oh! Look at this creature. He's evil. Oh, he bent his beak and died. <laughs> uh, let's go down. Okay, how 
How does one acquire this? Let's get my dear friend Boomer out. Boomer those. We just jump. Oh, we got sucker. Hey, sucker. Go down here. Sucker sucks. Okay, let's use Boomer here. Wait, Sucker sucks. <laughs> We can, at any time, venture into Sucker. We can shrink down and journey inside Sucker. Alright, Sucker's kind of cool. Uh, I'm, I'm into Sucker. Can I get beyond Sucker? I'm stuck down here! Okay, we gotta use a creature. Uh, Blubba? Where's my serpent? Why can't I? I gotta put him like there. Run like the wind! Run like the wind! Thirty-five seconds the best time. We got two minutes thirty. So we have to go straight back in. I think I'm gonna commit to this. I think we're just gonna go try and get the full okay, let's get a blub up. Try and get the full gold medal. Easy. Yeah, the levels are short enough, I agree. So the only reason I'm considering going for it is because each level is what I was like 20 seconds. <laughs> 26 seconds. Okay. Now where's the next one? Where'd my compass go? Oh well we found it. What is this? What do you do, creature? Oh, he hurts you if you touch him. Blob. <laughs> oh no, he died! Uh, let's use... Lava. Boing. Clubba. Go. I didn't find any secrets in this level. This one should be easy enough to get the gold on. Oh, nice. He played this one, G. Cool. It's my first time. I didn't even know about this game <laughs> until like two weeks ago. Completely flew under my radar. Go! Speed run. Uh, this is a problem. Let's flubba it. Now, 
Awkward menu ink, okay, blubber. Oh! I need to get rid of those guys, of course, of course. No, no. God, this, this menuing is very awkward. It makes it hard to go fast. Uh, boomer. Oh. Oh. See, because I spent too many seconds in the menu searching for monsters, I, I missed out on the gold. For the Empire or what? Try again. <laughs> no! I missed! Can I just jump? Oh. Let me just jump over that. <laughs> we try. Okay. Solve the puzzle. Club, 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 up. club. <laughs> Perfection is required here. Jump. Timing here. Perfect. Perfect. Gently, Bentley. Cool. Let's go to the next level. Where's this freaking ladder at? I still haven't found any orchids. Is this an orchid? Orchid? Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> that was not an orchid. Jump! Oh, look at this guy. Uh, we gotta use something here. Let's use a boomer. There's gotta be a faster way to deal with that. Bravo! Uh, serpent. God, this menuing is so awkward and slow. Oh no! Saberman's dead! I forgot we had fall damage. Try again. Run like the wind. Oh, that's right. It's very kind with the checkpointing. Run! Oh, I cheated. Okay, try again. Run like the wind! No! <laughs> These are tricky because you can't go too fast. I keep trying to want to like battle toads my way through this. Just get the armor. No, you have to kind of take your time and be a bit more strategical. 
jump! Oh, oh, oh dear. I can't see where I'm supposed to be going! Okay. Wait a minute. Are you... Cookie. Emmanuel did say Cookie's gonna be everywhere. Oh. Drooler? Give me that. Uh, give me another boomer. Alright. Secret treasure. These secret treasures are not... What is this? These secret treasures are, like, not even worth going for. <laughs> they only give you ten coins. Huh? I thought because this was, like, a giant glowy-eyed skull that this would be deadly, but no. It's not. It's just bounces you. Oh. Okay, now I see. They are deadly. <laughs> oh, some satisfying platforming. What the heck is this? Um, let's get my boy Drooler down. Get him in play. I don't think he's doing anything. Uh, Golem. Sticky. Boomer. Right. Sure. I got silver? If that was a silver, gold should be really easy. Oh wait, never mind. I need to shave 33 seconds off. Okay, go. That. Jump over. Oh. Run like the wind. <laughs> that was so easy. Cool. I really wasn't expecting this to be like Wario Land 4, just with a lot smaller levels, but this is pretty cool. something up there. Uh, blubba. Ooh. Blubba. What? No, no, my knees, my brittle knees. Okay, he's dead. Uh, can we clubba this? No! He's clubba in me. That's incredibly rude there, Clubba. Please stop. They did not need to make that waterfall sound as loud as they did. What do you have to say? Morris the Miner, before you enter the underworld, you're going to need a torch. 
light your way. You could have used my lamp, but Saberwolf swiped it. Retrieve it, and it's yours. Good luck, you'll need it. Got a photo. Wait, which photo is that? I missed Shining Beacon photo. I assume. Shining Beacon? Oh, there's the lab. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Um, let's use the club. <clears throat> no, don't club me. Okay. Use the thingy, the blubba. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. I might have to use blubba and a serpent. In fact, I think that's the play. This guy, like, right there. My ears are melted. I cannot even... This is way too much. Quickly, blow it up. <laughs> Why did they do it like this? Blow them up. Oh, okay. this level and get this nasty level over with. Okay. Blubba. <clears throat> Blubba. Serpent. Go. Jump. Jump. Uh, bomb. Easy. We're almost done with World 2. <laughs> it seems to be a pretty breezy game here. Save. So confused as to why my compass just disappeared, but it, it's gone. It's just gone. Oh, look at this. Jump. That. I'm going to use a boomer, I think. Oh, branching paths. I don't know which way to go. Oh, we got to go that way. Okay. Just boomer. Speaking of Boomer, there's another one. Boing, boing, boing. I got hit! Whatever. I think I want this. Oh dear. They're really throwing a lot of dudes at me here. Let's get the clubba. <clears throat> Shock bolt for you. Welcome. How's it going? Run! 
Wrong way. Ah, oh, this is hard. I can't see where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> you just have to just just go. I went the wrong way. I'm dead. Scarba. Scarba. This way. You can't see where you're supposed to go. This way. Okay. That was a bronze. So we must immediately replay the stage for gold. Is the lab open yet? Keep forgetting to check the names. Upper Karnath Mines. Full speed run. Get that. I need to boomer. I think boomer might actually be a slow. A slow solution for those blocks. It might be a faster way to do it. Jump. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's try. Let's try Bigfoot. Oh, Bigfoot's super slow. Bigfoot sucks. Just got owned. I think Boomer might be the play. No! Those turtles. I'm trying to avoid the turtles. I'm trying not to fall on top of the turtle. Ooh. Go this way. Treasure. I'm the armor, not treasure. Boing. Oh, boy. Just jump. Run yes. like the wind. Run like the wind. <laughs> this game is so silly. It's kind of awesome. Left. Oh. Spinning, God. Why did I kill the old man? That's okay. He's back. Yeah, I agree. That the small bite-sized levels does make it very well suited for like on-the-go gaming. Because a lot of Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, were designed to be played in like short concentrated bursts like you're a kid in a car ride you only have 10 minutes to play the game so you can boot this up do a couple levels and shut it down and this format works pretty well in this game boom <laughs> that hurt me Didn't work. Dead. I'm still getting the hang of the platforming controls. Saberman feels a little bit weird to control. Can I just stand? I guess I couldn't. Boing, boing. Ah, come on. I keep trying to rush. Okay, I just need to slow down. Just feel out the level. Learn where to go. Where to place the things. Then we can replay it with the speedrun in mind. Just 
don't need to rush. Boomer these fools. I'm not sure what to do about this. I don't think that was the correct play. What? Uh, let's try club. Club's a little slow, but he gets the job done. <laughs> no, he's dead! Oh, Club died. Ooh, golem. I've never used the golem. <gasps> What's this? Let's try using the golem. <laughs> okay. Let's try using the golem. Uh, boomer. Serpent. Doi, 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 doi. I don't know what I expected to happen there. Try again. I wonder if there's something up from here. I still don't know what to do about this. Take the hit and run through. I don't need to recollect the bag. <clears throat> oh, the lamp! Jump! Wrong way! <sighs> Oh dear. Uh, jump. Great Scott. So now I think we can go to the boss? Probably. World 2 complete. Underworld. Oh. I'm a little bit traumatized still from playing Underworld on the Spectrum. So maybe the Underworld stage won't be as bad. Button! Oh, I missed the button! Okay, go. Get the treasure here. Bum, 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 bum. I got hit! Oh. Amiga droplets! Oh. I thought I could run under the Amiga droplet. Treasure. Skip the treasure. I keep calling body armor treasure on accident. It's not treasure. Wait, the timer's still going. Okay. Two fragments are yours to hold, but six to go. You must be told. Save. Oh, 
Oh, he's in the underworld. I knew you were the man for the job. Six more pieces to go. We can regain control for that nasty old boss. Welcome to the Underworld. You've already met my twin, Morris. <laughs> oh, I'm Boris. We're identical. Just missed Dr. Doolittle Good. Came through here like a whirlwind. He didn't stop. He just jumped into the lift. It was gone. This hole's the only evidence of him being here. Why don't you investigate? Meanwhile, I'll bring the lift back up so that you can explore the Underworld's lower levels. See if you can catch up with our friend, the Doctor. Where's the photographs? That's all I care about. Where's the flowers? Why is there a donkey on a wheel? Don don wheel donkey? Oh, you have to press the button. To bring up the compass. Whoops. Let's go in. Whoa. What is this goo? Is this lava? What was that noise? Let me hear that again. What? Okay. Cool noise. Oh, what is this? I think I need to use a bomb. I think Boomer might be the MVP of this game. Ooh, something. Yep, I see it. I got hit! Is... Where the... Broke my knees. Okay, it looks like the stage is kind of weaving back and forth. So, can I go through here if I... Boomer... Lava? Oh, that's kind of cool. And then... Lava here... Bloater! Trapped its prey, then floats away. Bloater. <laughs> See ya! Run for it! Now, what's the best path down? Just go like this. Nope! Oh, okay. For the Empire, what? Torchlight Torment. Uh, let's go back in immediately to get the gold. So, Boomer this. Lubba here. Boing. 
Flubber here. Serpent here. Easy. <laughs> I gotta jump over him. <laughs> Down. This is pretty fun. Look how sad the wolf looks when he walks away. Is he gonna fall? Oh, I didn't get to see him. This is pretty fun, yeah. It's it's really neat. I like the the wide variety of different paths through the levels. And how you can just kind of place your things anywhere and kind of make each level your own. This is pretty fun so far. I'm enjoying this. What? <laughs> oh, he's got a finger animation. This is deep dark dug out. Uh, serpent right there. Can I just jump? Of course. What is, that? what is this thing? What is this guy? I'm stuck in the menus. I got trapped. I got locked in the menus there. I was trying to admire the dude. Got locked in the menus. Let's give him a little, a little drool. <laughs> what? You're not supposed to spin him back out. This is so goofy. <sighs> Try again. Okay, okay. No more playing. No more having fun and playing with this game. It's just pure business. Jump. Go. I got hit. <laughs> Got bamboozled. Skip this thing. Blow up this fool. What the ba ba ba? Serpent. Um, at least we got the golem, which I never have used successfully. <laughs> so we have another golem. I don't need to go back that way to recollect. What if... What if... What if we travel this way? Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not go that way. I've never played Rare's Game Boy Advance games. Um, when I was a kid, I did have a copy of, I think, Donkey Kong Land 2. I think it was the second one. I remember enjoying that one. I've always wanted to go back and, like, give the Game Boy Rare games a good playthrough. There's a whole bunch of them. So they have the Donkey Kong Land games. Donkey Kong Country has a port on the Game Boy Color. Go! <laughs> the wolf 
just fell and died. Yeah, there's a Battletoads on the Game Boy. There's an isometric adventure game on the Game Boy by Rare. I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head. There's a Snake Rattle and Roll sequel on the Game Boy. There's a whole bunch of cool games. Quite well. I've recalled the lift. Let me see you brought some food for my dog. If you hop in, I'll winch you down to the next level. When you need to use the lift again, just get in. Press the button for the floor you want. Yeah, the Conquer game? That's right. The family-friendly, cheerful, happy Conquer game. Where Conquer's just a completely different character than he is in Bad Fur Day. Monster Max, yeah, that's what it's called. I want to play Monster Max. What time is it? Oh, I think we should take a break here. 23% through the game already. Alright, cool. Let's let's pause. Let's take a quick break. Um I gotta get some more water, use the restroom, etc. etc. Mute the dripping sound. I'll be back in just a few minutes. We'll keep playing. We'll try and get up to maybe 40 or 50% game completion. Yeah, I think we'll split this game into two streams. I don't feel the urge to just power through and do like an eight hour <laughs> Saber Wolf marathon. We'll probably split this into two streams. But I'll be back in just a few minutes. BRB.
Okay, we're back. We have returned. Let's play more Saber Wolf. Timer. Unmute. Get those drippy drips back. Drippy drips. Alright, let's play more Saber Wolf. this guy he's everywhere i hear that you plan to help us you can purchase a variety of useful items from me uh okay beautiful tailspin static creature that will blow away any trouble get some more suck <laughs> our little mouse in we go I forgot I keep forgetting to check the name of these stages stinky cavern what is this this creature is secreting it's secreting Amiga droplets. Well played. I like this guy a lot. This guy just kind of mischievously walks back and forth. <laughs> I like this guy a lot. Jump. Oh, watch out for the secretions. Go. Can I just boomer this? I can't look up. Oh dear. Let's try... Let's try something here. Let's try and use some of my dudes. Let's try tail spinning them. Ah! <laughs> this caused quite a mess here. Um, no, no, get out now. Uh, let's try. Mm. Oh, this going backslash welcome. Thank you for the good luck. Wonderful. I got secreted. Secreted on. You hate to see it. Boing. Superlative. Hmm. I think I can just run un. I can't. I can. Oh, secretions. Now the combo system doesn't really make any sense to me either. Especially when the the coins you get for doing combos are almost completely negligible compared to the coins you get for selling these gold treasures. You can just infinitely farm these as well, so whatever. It's just another thing, another mechanic to layer in. I missed a discovery! Gotta go back. You can't even scroll the screen up. How? What did I miss? Secretion. What if there's something behind these blocks? There wasn't. Okay. Um. Hey, club. 
most of the good creatures on the team simply like reposition enemies. Only Club and Boomer actually kill the enemies. I'm all about killing rather than repositioning. They're evil after all. We must kill them. Oh, he's gonna kill me! Oh, whatever. Oh, it's it's there. Tailspin. I. <laughs> whatever. That works, right? Yep, we got the thing. Okay. This is the, the map man fast travel <gasps> treasure. Oh, night lore. Night lore is on a mountain. Okay, that's all we can see. Swampy will rip you off if you're not careful. Who the heck is Swampy? Let's go. I forgot to. Mining mayhem. Okay, good. What is this? What? Uh, let's go. This way. I get your good point. I probably could have used Boomer on the serpent to get through. It's true. I wasn't thinking about that. No, oh, watch out for the secretions. Why are these guys? I cannot make out what these creatures are supposed to be. They're like pigs? But they have like rhinoceros horns. Maybe those are like stegosaurus spines. But they're hanging from their feet on the ceiling. Vampire pigs? And they try and dive bomb? <laughs> what? Very strange game here. Ooh, treasure. So this should lead right back to here. Uh, okay, so this, that's just a shortcut. A boy club. Get him, club. Oh, don't get me, club. No, oh, I said don't. Club is ruthless. He doesn't care who you are, where you came from, what you're doing. He'll club you. All right, so that's the bronze. The stage might be a little tricky to get a gold on. No! Great Scott! <laughs> He's in the tent! It's a no wolf zone. back in so I think we want to club this club that now fall I think I want to club these guys I don't know about I, ah! club hurry up go 
Gotta go! Gotta go! Go! Club, club on club violence. You hate to see it. The clubbers do not care. You are in their way. You get clubbed. No ifs, ands, or buts. Just, just clubs. Don't go. Bum, 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 bum. For the empire. What? For the empire. Save. All right. Cool. What? Is there a level out here? Oh, there is. Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna guess... Death. I should have known. Jump! I like this music. I don't like this guy. Blow him up. I bet there's something up here. Why are there still pigs glued to the ceiling? I don't get it. Good. Why are there pigs glued to the ceiling? Let's <laughs> um, use my last boomer. I couldn't even read what that was. It's, it's a droomer? I'm liking this game, Dial the Sound. This is pretty fun. It's a very silly game, but it's really cool. Oh dear! Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Armor. Okay, let's go back in there. Uh, this is a pretty easy stage. Gently Bensley. That was Lookout Ledge. I just need to shave 49 seconds off. Let's go! Gently Bentley, yes. Boing. Oh. Go! Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! I don't know what I was thinking there. I, should, I need to use a boomer on him to take the, the thing up there and go do the thing. Vroom. Vroom. Gotta go fast! Let's get the armor. <laughs> Wait, get, the, get on the ledge! Okay. I don't really understand how those work. <clears throat> I'm stuck in the menus. Magic key. I misplaced the blubba. Just, just perish. Hey, left empty. Welcome. This game is really cool. Uh, yeah, you get different treasure based on how quickly you complete the levels. <sighs> and they say you get something for getting gold on all the levels. Or I guess... I got hit! I guess it's more of a... There's a challenge mode you can unlock. After you've gotten a gold medal on a level, you can replay it on challenge mode. 
which I haven't played with at all, so I don't really know what that entails. No! Oh! He's dead. Try again. Let's get the armor. These springs are very mysterious. Like, I don't really understand how those things spring you. Let's just use a blubba right there. Okay. Run under the pigs. So let's boomer this fool. I could probably use him rather than blow him up. Okay, okay. It's coming to me. No, oh, serpent! No, serpent! No! What am I thinking? Okay, try again. Well, I think if you walk in... No! <laughs> ah! Get up there! 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 There we go. Baffling game. Blubba. I got hit! Ride this. There we go. That's a lot better. Now let's just play it a little bit safe and boomer you. Silver? That was only a silver? Oh, these timers are getting a little tight. We have to successfully escape. That's right. okay. <laughs> My goodness. I'm getting owned here. Saberman's brittle knees are much too weak to withstand falls from any height. Where is the wolf? There he is. Get the armor! <laughs> Knees have shattered. Try again. Run for it! Bum, bum, bum. I keep trying to speedrun before I even understand like the layout of the stages very well. Jump. Fall down here, get stunned, just walk to the right, get the armor, jump right over, over the wolf, get hit. There, he is like 60. That's a good point. He's very old. His knees are 11 seconds faster. His knees are in bad shape. His mustache is in great shape. I think I need to start skipping that. <laughs> Ride this. Get the boomer. Ride this up. Perfect. And let's just do the escape first try. <laughs> let's do it second try. <laughs> Take the fall damage here and survive. 
No! Okay. Spending what? There goes Saber Wolf. Alright. That was a tricky stage. They're definitely getting harder. Level four. Oh, lava pit. Oh, there's the lab. This is Crumble Crevice. We reached Crumble Crevice. We did it. Uh, which way do I go? Up or down? Ah, uh, there's gotta be something down below. Maybe there's just fiends. I still do not know why pigs are hanging from the ceiling dive bombing. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Hey, you got a big foot. <clears throat> no! Big foot! <laughs> Betrayed by Bigfoot. Let's go down. Let's see what madness lies in store down here. Come on, come on. Very unclear what the explosion of these monsters is. Uh, Bigfoot? <laughs> Bigfoot, don't kick the sun! Go. Drop a boomer. He's dead. Why did I get a giant chain for Clubber dying? Bravo. It takes me far too long to find these dudes. No, 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 no! Oh my god. Hit the thing! I swear I ran under that just fine last time. Boomer. 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 Just full boomer. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work. Try again. Boomer. 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 Nope. Boomer. I'm out of Boomer. Uh, club, club, club. That killed me. <sighs> Try again. Okay, I think I figured this out. We drop a Boomer just perfectly. So it kills all of those. Drop a Boomer here. Kill the turtle. I misplaced the boomer. Go under. Drop the boomer here so it hits both the fan guy and the thing. Drop my last boomer here to get rid of him. Uh, we need to clubber this thing. Like that. 
Love these. And get the treasure. There it is. We got the 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 the, the thing. Is that a goblet? Bam, bam, bam. Great Scott. Great Scott. A moosey fate welcome. How's it going? <laughs> This game's cool. We got the Bigfoot, we got the treasure, save. Stranglehold Swamp. Just immediately blessed with treasure. Boing. Watch out for the secretions. What? These things aren't even attached to anything. They just float. Why do these pigs float? Whatever. Ooh. Ooh. Let's. My old pal Boomer. And a little serpent. I think I want to club this. I think I want to club this. Careful. <laughs> oh, they killed each other! <sighs> I don't know why I thought I could make it through that. can't just hold right. You have to actually engage with the game. Boing. Get the club. Get the second club. I'll try and put the second club all the way there so he triggers that guy. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm wasting way too much time here. I'm gonna get clubbed. I got clubbed. Get out of there! I need to boomer this. Run like the way. Silver. For the Empire, what? For the Empire, what? Lab is open. I have to replay this immediately to get the gold the gold flag. Club that. I think this would be better served by dropping him there. Got lost in the menus. Like this is this is such a time waste. Such a time waste. Just kill me. I need to use a boomer there. Boomer, right there. Hey, Rape, well, welcome. It does look pretty nice. Oh, there's a lot of Game Boy Advance games that have this kind of similar aesthetic. Oh, dude, that was close. <laughs> the paws on the wall. Into the lab. Dead. Try again. Can I jump on that? Oh, we have to use the things!
<laughs> Where do I go? Treasure, I don't care about treasure. Stop spraying! Okay. Oh dear me, this noise is atrocious. This noise is very bad. Please stop the noise. I missed the button. This way! Oh, I missed. This is very hectic platforming here. Because you can just jump straight up through these platforms and you kind of just breeze straight up. Pieces three bring your get bring your quest alive. Where might lie the other five? Okay, world three complete. Cool. I don't think I've missed anything in these worlds, but I've probably missed a bunch of the photos. Wow. Piece three of the amulet. Well done, the underworld can start getting back to normal. How am I gonna get out of this place? Speak to Swampy. He runs a water taxi. The swamp water down here runs through an underground river and out into the entombed swamp. Okay. I'll see you around. Bye. Oh, there's the water taxi. I say, taxi. Yes, squire. How can I help? Have any idea as to the whereabouts of a certain cad who goes by the name of Dr. Do a Little Good? Oh, yes, indeedy. He only went and hijacked my humble taxi. What you do? What could I do? He had that fierce looking wolf with him. I just did what he said. Which was? I had to take him and the wolf to the entombed swamp. I. Dr. Doolittle Good has a hot air balloon. Why does he need to use the swamp taxi? They didn't even pay the fare. Follow that doctor. We'll take you through this underground lake into the entombed swamp. But nothing's for free. It'll cost you. Bloke's got to make a living. Cross my palm with gold. My water tax is at your service. 25 GP. Sure. I like this map and how it gradually gets colored in. This is very nice. Entomb Swamp. That's a reference. Holmes, under the power of the evil doctor and his wolf, Lee's left one of his laboratories here to protect himself. Several of us have tried to storm the lab, but it's no good. You're our last hope. You know how to deal with these places. It's always me, isn't it? Well, I'm off. Got work to do. Leslie snaps in my cab the other week. Oh, wow. Oh, you're the store, dude. Okay, let's trade in some treasure. I've got so much money. 772. What could he even pos- Oh. Alright, there's nothing left to spend money on. There's nothing left to spend money on. Let's go in. The, go in. The Stinger Strangle.
I am covered in bees. Fully bead. I I kind of hate these bees. Bees, stop! Okay, they're gone. Where's the the thing I just got? Tailspin. Superlative. Uh, bomb. I don't care about that treasure. I'm maxed out on money. Can I bomb these freaking things? No! Get up, Saberman! Ugh. These bees are the worst. The bees are the worst. The bees! Okay, they're dead. Blah blah blah. Oh, they're recycling treasure. Run for it. Run for it. Try again. He's so fast. He's so fast. He's so fast! Okay. He's so sad. So because I'm a sicko, we must immediately go back in the stage and get a gold medal. Avoid the bees. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfying platforming. Get, oh, get out of there! Get my boomer. Avoid the bees! Avoid the bees! Avoid the bees! I got bees! These bees really suck! Give me the treasure! Okay. Bum, bum. <sighs> hey, Lynx Winter's welcome. Why is there a wolf in the jungle? It's <sighs> he's a saber wolf. He's evil. He goes where he pleases. <laughs> I guess the saber wolf is like some demonic entity that just lives underground and is just constantly burrowing from place to place but the caves that the saber wolf erupts from lead to like other lands and things are very unclear in this game it, it, it <laughs> this is a video game they don't really care about cohesion <gasps> trap door 35 stars avoid the wolf Speed increases with every seven collected. Let's go. Ah woo. Okay, so this is just just like the other bonus game, but only going back and forth. Okay. This is very silly. Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. 100 GP. My bed. Oh, hello. <laughs> blah, 
ba 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 I could lure the crocodile over and jump on its back? Some meat you could use? You got a bag of grain? What? Fetch quests? Frantic fissure. I immediately see an item I want. This is Boomer. And Blubba. We got a Drooler who I will never use. Oh, what is this madness? Uh. Let's do a little clubba. And a little boomer. Bravo! Serpent. Oh, I thought that was a pig. I'll just take the hit. Ah! Should not have just taken the hit. Understand how those springs work. Ah! Okay, we just took the hit. The same spot as last time, pretty much. Could try again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's club up. Boomer. I don't know why sometimes the boomer destroys multiple blocks, sometimes it doesn't. It's not exactly clear. Okay, watch out for this guy. And go under. And let's just boomer this. I can't even see what I'm supposed to be killing here. We gotta kill the turtle to take his spot to drop the boomer on the fan mans. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I see. Wait, that. Serpent. Wait. Under. Boomer. This way. Boomer. Boomer. Is this a surfboard? Cool. <laughs> oh, my knees. <sighs> Very close. Did I just get a surfboard? Or is that a silver treasure? I can't tell. Okay, it's a pink, it's a purple flag, which means it's a story item. Is that the surfboard? Okay. Oh, 
cobbled hammock. Cool music. Uh. That's what I think of your music, nerd. I'm done. Just go like this. Hmm. I don't think I can just go like that. Club. Tremendously powerful spellcaster there. Starting to pack these levels quite densely with enemies. Boomer. I should just be able to go like that. Perfect. I should be able to just. Probably need the boomer that thing. Okay. So I'm just gonna go like this and jump over this. I don't need to deal with that guy. Boomer you, get the armor. Uh, just boomer this nonsense. Jump up. Oh, there's the grain. I keep my grain in a giant sack with the word grain on it. It's the only logical place to keep your grain. Would you like this green? I sure you'll have some green. I'll exchange it for this piece of meat. And you can lure the crocodile over. Go on, dangle your meat in the water. <laughs> okay, let's dangle our meat in the water. He's, 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 he wants to see it. He wants us to do it. Let's, let's, let's do it. Don't mind me just dangling my meat in the water. <laughs> That's not dangling. That was toss. I did not dangle my meat. I tossed it. <gasps> hippo. Hey, hippo. There's the lab. Forgetting to check the names of these levels before entering them. This is Stinkhorn Swamp. Just boomer everything. Boomer everything. Boomer everything. Boomer every. I'm out of boomer. Um, if we're out of Boomer, I'm not really sure how to deal with this. Can I drop a clubba here? Okay. No! 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 Oh, I forgot about bloaters. Bloaters work as well. Try again. Okay. Uh... Boomer! Immediately take a hit. Whatever, whatever. Boomer. 
Boomer. I thought I could sneak through that, but I was wrong. Try again. Amiga droplet, whatever, whatever. Why did that not double kill, but last time it double killed? The mysteries of the boomer. Probably don't need to boomer that one specifically. Just boomer everything. Bravo. Run like the wind. Run like the wind. I'm really happy that there's voice clips in this game. Ooh. I juke the wolf. Gently, Bentley. <laughs> cool. Okay. Completed. Should be almost done with this world. Oh, gotta go all the way back there. Um, Rare? Excuse me, Rare? How could you let this pass through quality control? There's a dead pixel they missed. Rare? How sloppy. Oh, photo. Let's check the inventory real quick. I definitely missed the shining beacon photo. Ah, we'll deal with those later. I have to walk on the lily pads, of course. Interesting how in this game we can walk on the lily pads, but on Night Lore, one of the obstacles that just kills you is a puddle of water with a lily pad in it. It just kills you. What? Blow up. Divergence of pads. Oop, there's the thing. Uh, where's the, the thingy that does the thing? Where's the thingy, the bloater? That's what I want. I want to bloater that. And blubber. Where am I going? Um, in the <gasps> key. What? Oh, I couldn't even see that. I'm dead. Mount. Uh, well, we keep the discoveries, so now we can just speed run it. So I think what we want to do is take this bottom path. Clubber? No, no, clubber the wrong way. I meant to. No.
That was a tactical death. Funk. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. I panicked. Let's jump over the turtle, straight under the bees. It's over here. <laughs> bees. This man. This man's a menace. Okay, try again. Funk. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, 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 okay. Club. Let's fall. Jump over. We're going to thread the needle here. Whoa! Satisfying needle thread. Club. No, club. I need a, I need a, a, a thingy, rather than a thingy. Bonk, go. Wonderful. Jump. Thread the needle. And I need a thingy here. I need a, a bloater. A bloater. I said bloater. Oh, bloater sucks. Um, bomb. Just use a club. What am I doing? Just use a freaking club. These are an absolute menace. Okay, use the club, draw the aggro, wait for the timing, go. There's the thing. Alright, it's that easy. Just grab the thing. What? How? Okay, try again. He's so much faster that you have to, like, jump over him and juke him a little bit. On any straightaway. Okay. What? Run for it. Okay. I guess I gotta take a different route. Jump. Goodness. Scarpa. Scarpa. Brown, brown, brown. And go up right about there. Okay, I see. Okay, I think the lab should be open now. Viper Vines. What is this? Just bomb. Okay, Drooler, I will never use you. I just used you on accident. not deal with those bees. Let's just not. Just, just don't. Bravo. 
Now we wait. Oh! What is this? What is this? Uh, bloater? Oh, whatever. Basketball? Basketball? Basket ball? Basketball? We got to basketball. I really don't like, and this is the most minor of complaints. <laughs> the bottom of the screen here. A does the selection on the left. B does the selection on the right. On the controller, A button is on the right and B is on the left. I feel like these should be reversed. But, you know, you got to press the right button on the controller to do the left option on the screen. Another level! Okay. Terror Temple. Lubba. Lubba. <laughs> we got another club. Let's just blubber. And let's just blubber. I got conflicted with bees. Nope. The bee affliction. How do you not just get afflicted? Uh, how about we do a boomer? And a boomer. And the... Boomer. I cannot express in words how annoying having bees is. <laughs> Okay. Nice music here. Gold? Is this gold? I don't know. Bam, bam, bam. Jump! Jump! Great Scott! Great Scott. This is world four now? Is this the end of world four? I think? I got clunked. The steam made a big clanging noise as it ricocheted off my body armor. <laughs> There we go. Ignore the treasure. I already have more money than I can even spend. No, oh, the noise! Not a fan of that sound. This fourth piece means halfway there. To seek for more requires great care. 10,000 beasts. <laughs> Save.
Not a waterfall. That waterfall was atrocious. That was a close thing. Oh, Mr. Saberman, you're my hero. I knew you'd be able to help us. <gasps> What's that? Oh, the hot air balloon. You idiots. You'll all pay dearly for this. Okay, bye. There he goes again. No matter how close I think I'm getting, he always seems to be one step ahead. Don't lose heart. You're doing really well. You've got four pieces of the amulet. Soon you'll be able to trap Saber Wolf and give that dude little good fella a good slap. First, we have to get you up to Mount Nightlore. Never gonna get up there. Look at me. But old man, I can't climb that. No, no, you don't have to climb. We have to be clever. Between us, we can come up with something. I'm a major I'm a shepherd. How about we wake a seesaw? Make a seesaw. A seesaw? Use that surfboard you got back from Saber Wolf with the basketball too. Let's see where this goes. Stand on one end, I jump on the other. Bingo. Bingo. Up, up, and away. Tragically, I can't think of anything better. Dude, you have a whole inventory full of creatures. Just use one of those. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Here goes nothing. To infirmity and beyond. Okay. We did it. Cool. Mount Night Lore. Wee. Oh, look at the snowshoes. Is this Mount Night Lore? That's right. I used to live here in this desolate place. Till my home was destroyed. A great balloon flew overhead, carrying Doctor Doolittle, Good, and Saber. They wrecked everything. Left one of those labs to guard the area. It didn't have a skull on it? I don't know. <laughs> the snowman lost its head. Yodelers? Let's get to work. I wonder if I can... What are these? Have I been there, Kids? I guess those are children. What's the matter here? Horrible man stole our toboggan. He had a horrible dog. Will you help us? Of course I will. Okay, Sniff. Alright, Sniff. I think I know where to find your toboggan. Where? Mind filling us in? This place is very confusing to na try and navigate. <laughs> what snowmen? Calvin and Hobbes snowmen here. Coins. I should be able to... Don't I have another key I haven't used yet? I thought it was working here. Brr, I can't know who's that. Absurdity, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. How's it going, everybody? Shout out for Absurdity. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. How'd your stream go? Playing Saber Wolf for the Game Boy Advance today. This is a very silly game. It's pretty fun, though. I'm liking it. Heavens, man, you're not decent. We just found a nude man. His name is Seymour Butt. He's completely naked. 
that's the game that we're playing here. I know it doesn't look good, but it was the wolf. Savaged me, he did. Oh, he's naked because he got savaged by a wolf. Shirt was torn off my back. I need to get something warm on. He'll catch your death. It's very good of you to offer the help. Be a good chap and call in on Dave Crockett in the Entombed Swamp. He'll fashion me a fine fur suit. What? Oh, took a photo. Okay. Ooh, played 2004 Bard's Tale. Interesting. I've never played any of the Bard's Tales. I've seen a fair bit of the remake. It's Tonda Ghost has streamed Bard Sale 1 through 3 of the remakes fairly recently. I guess it's a few months back, maybe a year ago now. They look like a lot of fun. Oh, delicious. See, I have, I have nothing to. Oh, Bigfoot. Nothing to spend this money on. Let's let's fast travel. Travel, yes. Does this have a skull on it? Not that I can see. Some some patch here. We need to go to the entombed swamp. Get a fur coat. Is there a dude in here? There is now. Fine for a suit that'll take some careful trapping. Burner, burner, burner. Knowledge passed down through the generations. Only a carefully constructed wooden trap. Woody might be able to help. He has access to wood. Lots of wood. It's good at making wooden things out of wood. Woody? They're not going to tell me where Woody is. I think we saw Woody... Not available. I think Woody was in the village? I think? Library? Let's check out the library. Blocker, bomb, crumble, there's hopper, roof spike, needle nose. What's the floating pink pig? <laughs> hover conquer, a hovering ball of pain. Good name. Poison. I haven't found any orchids yet. Just a... Uh... Dripper, that's the guy who secretes. Fatso. Grotesque, pig-like beast that enjoys nothing better than to feast on passing strangers. What? Okay. Pleb? <laughs> Strange creature. Stitched together from rags, which makes the most peculiar sounds that moves along. What? Okay. Boost to conquer. Oh, they're fleas, not bees. Okay. Lure. Hide. I never saw this guy. I haven't seen the evil wind either. Whoa. They're spoiling all the enemies. Can get out. Retreat. This guy wants a fish. There's a guy named Woody Harrelson somewhere. I can't do the tea yet! Are you Woody? Are you Woody? 
Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Is Woody in the campsite? I don't think Woody was in the campsite. <laughs> the attic attack rug, yeah. Everything in this is just a reference. Or most things in this are just references to previous Ultimate Play the Game games. This is kind of fun. <gasps> the docks! Look at this. Okay, took a photo. Fish. It's hard to tell where I can or can't walk. <laughs> I've been invited to a fancy dress party. Arr, but I got no costume to go in. Well, sorry to hear that. My husband's out fishing. He has his own boat, you know. Took him years to build. Calls her the Meyer Mare. There it is, another reference. When he comes back, I shall throw him a party. Could you lend a hand? Pick up a nice cake somewhere? Ever so great. Where do I get a cake? Yeah. There are fetch quests in this video game. This guy at all. What is. We're well, dithering there. What's that supposed to be? I guess it's just like underneath the dock? Very strange. Cake. 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 Drinking game, let's go. You wanna know the rules before we start? Ah, sure. Not many can match my considerable experience at guzzling tea. To begin, press B for the teapot to fill your cup. When this is complete, hold up on the control pad to bring the cup to your mouth. As you hold up, you'll see the icon in the bottom left corner of your screen filling with tea, which represents the amount in your mouth. Before you drink too much, you must release up and press A as fast as you can, thus swallowing your mouth full of tea. Okay, how many cups can we polish off before the sand of the timer runs out? Let's go. Me tea. Oh, this is confusing. I spewed. I don't think I've swallowed any tea. He's spewing everywhere. <laughs> oh, I see. You got to mash. Oh, he spewed! I'm getting smoked here. <laughs> Loser! Thanks, game. Undisputed heavyweight champion, team drinker of the world. Let's win. Let's beat him this time. I know the rules. Okay, hold B. Fill the cup. Up. 
Don't spew. He's going down this time. I think we got him on the ropes this time. Easy. So you just want to drink until it's up to your eyes, pretty much. And then stop, swallow, drink again. That's the rhythm. Boom. Easy game. Winner. I can't believe it. Nobody beats me. I'll be ready for you next time. Gained cake. <laughs> what? Alright. I didn't know they were giving away cake as the prize. Got the cake. There you go. What a wonderful cake. My husband would love it. I'm gonna Take this fish! Oddly enough, that's just what I need. Do we get to see what these items look like in the inventory? Uh, items? <laughs> cake. Fish. Surfboard. Carrot. Grain. Lamp. Mayor, hat, basketball, all the hits. I still haven't found a single orchid. Oh, I missed one. Okay, we're gonna give the fish to the guy in the library. I have no idea where this fetch quest is gonna go. Looks fascinating and yet strangely appetizing. I'll look for a good recipe. Fried up for my tea. This ancient shrunken head to Brotherhood Hoffman? Alright. Um, I still don't know where the woodman is. I swear we saw Woodman. He doesn't care until we find all ten pictures. Can't go up there yet. Woodman. Is he down here? Have I been down here? Guarding the temple? Let me in. Can't go in. Oh, there's something down there. A secret trap door. 25 stars. Ah! These bonus stages are so silly. Everything about this is just so goofy. Why is it raining stars? I just now notice that there's gold stars. Alright, complete. Does that do anything or is that just a hundred gold? Which is completely and totally useless. It might just be completely and totally useless gold. Looking for a Sheriff Woody. See any? 
Oh, this is Sheriff Woody. Okay, he needs a wooden trap. Twenty G's. So now we take this back to. I've already forgotten. <laughs> Pay to pay. Go back to the jungle? Swamp? It was this dude? Sometime later. <laughs> Take it up to Mr. Butt on Mount Night Lord. It's sure to keep him good and please, Mr. Butt's my father. Call me Seymour. Can I save some gold and use the Nope. Can't use the seesaw anymore. Oh, the hippo's gone though. It just it just connects like that. Oh. Donkey's still there, isn't he? Donkey's still there. Bird a bird a bird a bird. Over the mountain. Uh, where's Mr. Butt? Here? Yep. Mr. Naked. Oh, thank goodness. Ever so grateful to you, Mr. Sigmund. Please take this white orchid! There it is. The white orchid. I forget what this one did in Saber Wolf, the original. The white ones cured you, I think, of any ailments. 43%. All right, let's do a couple more levels. And try and get up to 50% complete. And then I think we'll save and wrap things up and finish this off tomorrow. Let's do a couple more levels, though. Snowy Knoll. What is this? Just avoid. I got. Please. I hate those fleas. <laughs> They're terrible. I already had armor, okay, whatever. I thought that might hit. There's the man who is stitched together from various rags. It's the official lore behind this character. He is stitched together from rags which is why he makes such a goofy noise when he walks because he's literally rags serpent phoenix whoa what's this do oh okay that's pretty good. Try again. Run like the wind. Oh. 
Try again. Let me get some distance on him. <laughs> Careful. I don't know where to go. This way. Okay. For the Empire, what? <laughs> Sad wolf. For the Empire. That's just a bronze. We can do better. Time to go fast. Time to go fast. No, no, no fleas. No fleas. No fleas. No fleas. My panic to avoid the fleas got me killed. I don't think you can avoid the fleas. I avoided the fleas. Okay, the fleas just disappeared. I gotta do something about that. That's a problem. Oh my goodness. Oh my, just stand still. Drop a boomer. I missed! Do we go this way? Do we go down? Oh, there's another satchel. Gotta get that. If I got fleas! I really hate these fleas. I hate them so much. Okay, how do we avoid the fleas? What if we just go blubber? I guess that worked? go this way. This guy's gonna turn. Got a golem that I'll never use. Um, I need to just die now. Reset the timer. I think I see how to do this. No oh, blubber! I'll probably use a serpent there. No! <laughs> I'm so close. Try again. And we go far enough to the right to despawn the bees. Let's drop a serpent here. There we go. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I goofed! Do the dance over him. That to get him distance. <laughs> That's deceptively hard. Run like the wind. Okay. 
No, wrong way. Where is he? Oh, okay. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. I'll take it. Arf, arf, arf. Next one. Frosty's Grotto. What do we have? 44.9? Blubba. Didn't work very well. Good. We need to like, serpent like there. Don't care about soccer. Blubba. Hmm. Is there anything down here? Of course. Of course there is. Just gotta jump into the pit. And just know that there's going to be something there. That was not worth it. Kill this thing at all? Oh, he's good. This guy's good. He's got moves. I can't. I can't outplay him. Um. Hmm. Maybe the phoenix would work against him. works. What the? Whoa! Cool. Goodness. So slow. Think of the time we're wasting here. Nugget. Oh, toboggan. Time doesn't matter. Bum, bum, bum. He's gaining! Oh dear! have gotten any closer. That's as close as you could possibly get without actually doing it. Okay, try again. Jump over. Work that time. Oh, poor wolf. He's gonna walk into the pit. I just smacked the mics. I'm sorry. Save. Uh, we want to give the toboggan to the kids. A beige, a beige. 
Oh, village hall key. Okay. Uh, let's do another level. Shivery peaks. Uh, this way. Uh, this way. Whoa! That's too many. Uh, let's boomer that. Blubba that. Tornado! And boomer you. Over the tornado. There's something. <laughs> yeah. Where am I going? Uh, we need to bouncy boy here. Pig. How do I get this pig? Club. Welcome, thank you very much for the raid, Reg. Whoa! Uh, uh, I'm getting bullied by some yetis here in Saber Wolf. <laughs> thank you for the raid, welcome. Right, take care, G. Thanks for hanging out. I'm probably going to wrap things up pretty soon as well. Go. Avoid those. Let's go this way instead. I don't like these things! <sighs> There's the thing. Fleas. I hate fleas. I, I can't do anything while I have fleas. Just have to wait. Let's bloat this thing. Lubba? Ah! Try again. This level's kind of hard. I think I want the body armor from the start here. Just immediately boomer that to get that. Oh, come on! I got hit. <laughs> this level's hard! Okay. It doesn't help that I'm just trying to go super fast through it, and I don't even know the stage layout yet. Boomer. And you get, like, locked into a rhythm in this game. Because the levels are so short. I just immediately want to jump right back in and keep trying after I lose. Can I go up here? Okay, that's just the body armor. I think I want to go this way. Give me a little bit of that treasure. Lobo. The heck is this? Like an airplane neck pillow? Is it a sausage? Is this a slug? Jump. Bum, 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 bum. Broke my knees, they're shattered bones. I am going the wrong way. Bum, 
I wasn't ready. Wasn't ready for him to leap at me. Hills far. Oh, cool. I've been really wanting to play Hills Far on on the NES. I think it's be really fun. Saberwolf's dead. Run like the wind. Bum, bum, bum. Jump. You don't gain much distance on him. Okay. No! My knees. This way. No! Try again. I don't know why he stole this mysterious sack satchel of slime? Like, what even is this? A banana? A misshapen banana? No idea what we're doing here. I must retreat. Dude! Really wants it. Broken knees, dude! The stun from falling too far is ruthless. Because take into account the tiny screen resolution, you just don't know if there's going to be a platform under you or not until you've memorized the entire level. It's short enough that it doesn't feel too bad. It's just a little annoying. Try again. If I just hold left, then I win. Okay, just hold left there. Interesting. I didn't expect the hold left technique to work. Let's try using the hold left technique. Simply hold the button. Go right. Touch the two. Run for it. Oh. Hold left. Bum, bum, bum. Now hold right and touch this jump. Jump. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> that was not easy. That was too hard. What did we just grab? Oh, well, it's mine. This one. Wafty shaft? Wafty shaft? Wafty shaft? Cool song. Things are a menace. Boomer, serpent. Probably want to go up. Yep, there's the thing. Falls apart with the slightest of movements. Okay. Cool. Oh, 
Okay. So it's another platform. No! My money! Click! Dead. <laughs> Try again. Just damage boost through. Can I boomer this thing? Oh, he's good. No, my blubber. What's the play here? There must be a play. Let's try serpent here. Serpent there. Just ignore. Let's do the uh, just ignore strat. Where's my mist? way over there. I don't know what Golem does. <laughs> Sticky? Boomer? Okay, we got silver. So this should be a pretty easy level. The escape is super easy. Okay, try again. Yeah, we're only like seven seconds off. Okay, so I can use a blubber here. I thought I'd be able to blubber up there. Okay, let's try and use a serpent next this time. So we can blubber here. Boing. Don't. This platforming is a little tricky. Over. Serpent. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Another level. 48.7. Okay, let's do this level. And then we'll go back to town, use the key in the mayor's office, and see what that gets us. Icy Nook. Oh, it's down here. Massive map. Give me the armor. Snake! Snake! Mm. Mm. <laughs> this game is still really fun. Yeah, I like this. This game's cool. It's very, very, very silly. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. It's starting to get a lot harder, too. But... 
with how quickly you can just jump right back into the level, it's really not a bad thing. In fact, it's nice that it's getting tricky. Jump! I have no idea where to go. Let's go this way. Try again. Let's go down. Just treasure. I don't care. I don't care. There's nothing for me to spend my money on, so I t don't care about any of this treasure. Fall. Armor. Okay, good. Pig's gonna hit me. Just run, keep running, keep running. Gonna bomb this. Don't even bother. Just, just blow up and go. Scarba! Scarba! Go! <laughs> Gently, Bentley. There might be one or two things in previous shops that I missed. In fact, I think some worlds have shopkeepers I haven't even spoken to. Like this guy. One thousand coins. Oh, I can spend thirty of these one thousand ninety three coins. All right, that's it. That's it. I think the economy in this game world is a little bit off. I think the the balance is is lacking. Ah, let's just finish this world. We're almost there. Gusty Gully. I'm probably missing a bunch of goodies up there. Oh, whatever. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. And let's just... Do that. Let's just put that there, and put that there, let's just go like that, and that, oh we got the shepherd's crook, what, cool, <laughs> yeah the challenge mode seems interesting. Because the manual said it restricts you to a very select loadout of creatures. So... The, the, the freaking platform roof. Okay, try again. So I think it would be really fun to try and play through these levels in challenge mode as well. To see how the solutions differ from my random... For my random solution of just okay, bomb this, bomb this, bomb this, platform, platform. <laughs> It'd be fun to try and use the tools the game provides. Go up! Woof, woof, woof. Ah, 
I thought this would be the lab. Coal House Climb. Let's just put a little serpent here and just ignore all of that nonsense. Under. What is this? Boomer? <laughs> what the? Boomer? 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 What? The, 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 what? What if instead of boomering everything, we just phoenix myself? Seems a bit more efficient. Oh my goodness! Panicked. I panicked. Get the armor. I... Didn't I armor? Have? Wearing? Didn't I? Acquire? Wear? Oh, I got it and got hit immediately. Okay, I see. I see. I see what you're doing. There's a pit there. Don't fall in the pit. A boomer uh, surfer. Hmm. This is a bathtub. All right, we got a bathtub. Bathtub time. I got that tub. What the? sure what to do about this. Maybe just hold left. Ah, what the? What do you do about that? Okay, we killed him. I guess that works. He just killed the wolf. <laughs> cool. He's dead. Alright, game over. We win. The laboratory door is now open. Return peace to the area by blowing it sky high. Well, to blow it. Yar. Do these labs have names? Night or lab. The 
button. Oh, watch out for the spray. I don't need the armor. don't need the money. Where am I going? Okay, go this way. Blubba. I got hit. These levels are chaos. Go! They suck in a cow. Welcome. <laughs> yes, Saber Wolf for the Game Boy Advance. This game's actually really fun. Okay, let's blubba here? Oh, we got skeletonized! Right, get the armor I'm underneath the turret. Let's bounce up here. Okay, that's a bit better path. Watch out for the steam, hit the last button. Let's bounce here. Ignore the treasure because it literally doesn't matter. You have so three to get to thwart the doctor and his pet. Pet and get do not rhyme unless you pronounce it get, which I guess is the normal way to do it. Get and pet. Save. Yeah, uh, Rare made a Spectrum game called Saber Wolf way back in the day. One of their early games back when they were called Ultimate Play the Game. I streamed Saber Wolf just like a week ago. It was actually a surprisingly fun game. Then they also made Saber Wolf on the Game Boy Advance, which is like a reboot. Five pieces of the amulet's been worth covering. Starting to get a bit tricky. Which way did you say that rascal went? Headed off across the Lake Nightshade towards the old mining company. Hard to mention my hacker. We need to cross the lake. Try the docks. Look for Captain Fingers. A salty old sea dog might just be able to help. What a guy. Weaver's the name Fleece Weaver. You'll find no passage through here unless I can get my crook back. A base of my head. We. I'm very confused. You had to get the crook to even get here in the first place. Now he wants the crook before he lets us pass. Like, wouldn't they have. Oh, Dagger Joe sneaking in with the 10 gift subs. Thank you, Dagger Joe. Oh, enjoy, everybody. Dagger Joe strikes again. Thank you very much. We have a lot of bleeding on this screen here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, Wizards and Warriors. I want to play Wizards and Warriors as well. There's actually, there's four games in the series. You can't forget Wizards and Warriors X on the Game Boy. <laughs> Fortress of Fear. The game is incredible. Right, let's do this bonus stage since we're here. 30 stars. Where's the... I couldn't see it coming. No! Oh, oh, my brittle knees! Okay, we're fine. Guess we just run in circles here. Brittle! <laughs> I'm 
full focus here. Okay, bravo. I have I, I had iron sword as well as a kid. <laughs> it's impossible. I never finished it. Where the heck am I? No trains then? There's a freaking train right there! Okay, we found a photo. There's literally a train right there. Thank you again, Dagger Joe. Ten gift subs. Much appreciated. Oh, Donkey's gone. like a rug oh it's a costume i was not expecting that to be a costume can we wear it is there a slot in the inventory to wear the cow costume should be a treasure oh look at this list of items cow costume Still only have one orchid. And I'm missing one, two, three, four photos. I've stumbled on the other six. Dude, I literally just opened the door to your office, sir. Don't tell me about the key that you lost. I just opened it. Uh, can we turn in the one orchid to this guy? I thought it was this guy who wanted the orchids. Alright, let's save here. So, a little over halfway through, 53.7%. Per we'll wrap things up here for the day. This game's pretty cool. I think this is a lot of fun. It's very silly. It's definitely at least geared towards younger players. But it, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. So, I'm looking forward to playing more. We'll pick this back game back up again tomorrow. I think I'll just play the second half and just power through, smash all the remaining stages. If we quit the game, let's take a peek at the challenge mode just to kind of see what it's like. Oh, it keeps the number right there, big bold. Challenge mode, boom. Oh, there's stars! the stars mean wait why is there five levels to pick from here but seven stars five here but seven stars six four the I think, I don't know, it's a mystery. Let's not get too wrapped up in it. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. We'll, we'll, we'll work on figuring out this mystery later. But thanks for watching, everybody. A good first stream of Saber Wolf. I'm enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. We'll play this again tomorrow, shall we? Thank you all for watching. I haven't find something to raid. I got to go get out of here. I think my guess is that the the levels that had story items that raised the purple flag, I think you, if you replay those, you might be able to get treasure. Because you need to get a gold treasure on the stage to unlock it in challenge mode. I remember that from the manual. But if there's a story treasure in the stage, you don't get 
a gold, silver, or bronze treasure. You might need to replay it. That's my guess, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, thanks for watching. Good game, fun game, like it. Let's get out of here. Uh, who's on? Got a lot of people on. Good music. Let's raid. Oh, so many people streaming. Uh, we're gonna raid Eltrioc. Eltrioc is streaming. Apparently it's his birthday. So we'll wish him happy birthday. I'm playing some Mega Man right now. Love Mega Man. Take care everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon. Tomorrow even. Farewell. Adios. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.